connected by using a key. Remember I said you might need a key? It, it appears to be streaming, so it says it's streaming, so. All right. Uh, are you too sure? I do It says it's streaming, but not recording. Open setting, enter UI. Yeah, you gotta enter the stream key. You were able to just click stream and it went? Oh, uh. I don't, I don't know. Because it asked me to put in a stream key. Fantastic, bro. So, it's not working. So, hold on now. Oh, you just went live, man. So, yo, yeah, yo, yo. You're back with the show. This is irritating shit. I just wanted to let you know. I'm really losing my fucking mind. I'm about to put on my headset. And the show is back with you. Allegedly. Apparently. Or probably. Who the fuck knows. Anyway. It says I'm live. I guess I'm streaming. I can't actually watch myself stream anymore, which is an unfortunate side effect of them fucking Twitch up completely, but. You there? You know. Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> I can't hear you. Can you not hear me? What's going on with that? Ah, oh, fuck's sake, hold on. Wait, you can't hear me at all? Hold on. Because I can hear you. Wait, you can't I can hear you through the... No, I can hear you through the video game, but I can't hear you through the Twitch. I mean, through the um Xbox. I can hear myself through the Twitch, so everything's working on that end. I just can't hear you in my headset through Xbox Party. Uh, and that doesn't even make sense, but... Let me see if I can figure it out. It's got some. It has something to do with uh, obviously. Uh, <coughs> if I do this, that's the that's the microphone. Though, if I need that, microphone access. So I, what I wanted to do is just use the headset instead. Can I do that? Do, 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 do. All right, look here, man. I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm Maybe leave this party and make a new one or something. I don't know. Maybe leave this. System sound. <laughs> yeah.
Hello, 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 hello. I can hear you on the stream. I can't hear you in the Xbox party. I can hear you on the stream. I don't know what the fuck to do with this, bro. I'm just swing it. <sighs> it should be coming through. Why well, won't it let everything come through the goddamn. Choose where to play sound. Yeah. Oh, I'll choose where to play sound. Oh, no, man. No, no. Unknown devices, bullshit. What unknown? Should be anything unknown about any devices around here. <laughs> Is this. I know. I don't know what's going on here. I can't I can't think of any reason why this wouldn't be working, Danny. Oh, fantastic. Maybe invite me to a party from your laptop. Yeah, okay, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I did. I have it hooked up. That's what I'm saying, bro.
Yo. Yes, I can hear you now. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why it won't let, uh... Oh, okay. Actually, is working through that set now. Okay. Um, yeah. So... Mm, that was everything good. seems to be working good for me now on this end. I can hear you, I can hear me, I can hear everything. Right, so I just have to now prioritize, uh the game because you know god forbid i'll be able to see my myself my own reactions or anything that has to do with you know streaming i get to just play the game that's i believe that's a function of um companion app i think that's just shitty uh, conflict between the companion app and well it, i mean so i'll be live streaming now but I, I wasn't a conflict before you know what i mean it worked before so what's the fuck now why does it now not work and how the fuck else am i supposed to do this go straight through the xbox app because you can't get your face on that way that's i mean whatever though i'm here we're all here so let's just go i guess let's just go yeah all right so let me uh, see, let me see what send me an invite. There first before I... Later. Check my gaff clubs before we just go. Oh yeah, I suppose. I don't even know. I, have no I haven't played idea. this have game in, no, mo in, a, in months. No clue what I'm doing. Yeah, so. Probably, I mean, I, and this was wouldn't even probably, I mean, not really my... I mean, I, I guess I'm using the right clubs. I got all the Ben Hogan's. Terribly unlikely. And I got the HB Pros. Terribly unlikely this would even be my first choice. I just figured. And I got the Mizuno wedges. So there's Sounds more good. forgiveness. Not much loss of distance. Better distance control. Swing plane's a little off with these. That's it. So Why would I not use these? I don't have those unlocked. Hmm. Oh, let's see what's in matchmaking. Scramble! It was scramble the other night when we, we thought we was going to play. Jesus. My bad that, uh, you know. Yeah, I should have Googled it sooner. I Did just they... was trying to fucking no, I mean, hope you, you can get spread away. With... It's not my fault that, uh, it's not either one of our faults that they decided to completely jack up <laughs> fucking you know the the app i mean that's uh who would have you know but <clears throat> as i was telling you earlier and i know you say ease of access makes superiority obs is far superior to anything <clears throat> anything else out there you can do all how, kinds of shit on obs how, how you just gotta yeah, figure if, it out if you're using yeah if you're playing computer games not xbox well games, bro so if, if you can argue, get the companion it, it, it's, it's still really very just, very you know, uh very compatible with the companion it's a preposterous you can argument. do overlays they have custom overlays you know that feature or those uh, features and, and those filters and stuff like that you can do you can do some shit in them So I have this, like a hodgepodge of different clubs here. Is that what's going on? That's definitely what's going uh, on. Here. Why? Becomes my most ultimate question at this point. What have I done? Why have I done this? It's colder than a witch's titty in here. I know that. Turn that off. Or down. Nice outside. It was like in the 80s today, like 82. Oh yeah. At the high, that was nice. So 
So what would this nine iron go? Do I have it to cover the gap? Right. Okay, that's why I did that, obviously. Alright, you know what? I must have done this for a reason, so let's just who knows where I was at when I like, let's just let's just play. Fuck it. See what's going on. <laughs> okay, so, um, Scramble. Send me an invite. I have absolutely like I am not probably going to be worth much in the way of hitting uh, the ball straight here. Uh, <laughs> I mean how would you like for me to respond to that? <laughs> Playing Atlas? What a would you like, Chad. Would you like for me to tell you that? Such a no, Chad. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm ready. Of course you'll be worth much, Danny. You are always valued. A very Peace. valuable... Uh, uh, scat. Uh, Alright, I hit it. Go ahead. I could not possibly do what I do without you. Dude, See, I, Google I, is your bro, friend. I hate this, bro. I can't fucking stand this because I, if I want to get Google, up and go to the Google bathroom, how do I pause it? Like, uh, you know. Pause it? Well, like how I turn the camera off or whatever, you know. No, you just put everything down and you get up and go piss and everybody watches, looks at your, looks at your chair. Fuck all that. That's not acceptable. Mm-mm. Right? This is unacceptable. Or, no, or you bring up OBS. Everything on this end freezes, remember? All right, tell me right now. If I brought, if I, let me, I'm going to bring it up. Tell me if it freezes, all right? All right. All right, it's up. Is it frozen? It's a delay, probably, so hold on. I mean, your face isn't. Did you get up and walk away? Wave your arms. The game is... Wave your arms. Yeah, you're not. But the game is frozen, though. Yeah. But so the I'll, camera's not. So the camera's... The, ca the only thing I want to actually... You're up, by the way. Come back, come back. Off, you're up. Uh, won't. It, uh, that's amusing. <laughs> but I, don't, I mean... I'm playing. Whether you can see it or not, I'm still here, so... Did you bring OBS up or whatever? Because... Yeah. Did you bring? Did you put Ob uh, uh, the companion app back up? Because it's still stuck on the screen. No, that's what I'm saying. But I hit the ball, so right. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm watching you on the Xbox, but on the Twitch stream, it's still frozen. No, nah, I gotta. I, but I do want to figure out how to fucking. Uh... Yeah. Just like, if I want to switch oh, this camera off shot. real quick, I want to switch this camera off real quick. What the fuck, bro? You know. Oh, I don't know. You might be able to do it through OBS. Remember, I'm not seeing anything on on Twitch. It's frozen. You got to bring companion you're, app back up. But are you? But you're still seeing me. You said. Yeah, clearly your your camera still works. On Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. But the game's frozen. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand, bro. I just. That bothers me, you know? I mean, nobody can do that. Everybody has to let their stream look at people, look at your chair while you're streaming. No, I've never seen anyone not do that. If, if someone has to go to the bathroom, they, they obviously get up and you're looking at the back of their chair till they get back. In every stream I've ever watched. So, I mean, if you figure out that, then, you know. You know, Nobel Prize. Can you see me now? Yes, I can see you. Uh, I thought I just turned the camera off. Well, there might be a delay. Hold on. Why did they pick the shot in the middle of the rough? <laughs> Because it was like 20 yards further. I turned nothing. the camera off, but I guess that did nothing. I don't know. You might not have turned it off. You might have thought you did, but. No, it says off. Actually did. I mean, off's off. I mean. 
You turned it off on OBS. Turned it off on the fucking, um... Come on. No, that's not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. What nonsense. Ooh, I just did it. Can you yep, see me? Yep, it's off. All right. Nope. Yeah. Ah, I mean, you know, just garbage. You're up, man. All right, so I'm back. I'm going to turn everything back to normal, but for future reference, by the way, <clears throat> yeah. there's a little eye. If you go to the, the app, there's a little eye, like where it says camera, and the, you see the little eyeball. If you yeah, on if, OBS, right? If you hit that eyeball, You're on pitch. right? If you hit that, if you hit that eyeball, uh, it it turns off. So. I'm in the bunker, by the way. So it's all on you. Wow. Oh, well, you just made me bail out. <laughs> It's all right, I'll take that. Yo, now that I know that, I wonder... Now I'm starting to wonder what else I might be able to do. Now you need a be right back sign. What? You need a be right back sign. Right, well, uh, okay, maybe, but... What I'm, I'm more I'm to 61 about. feet. And li literally, like, two cups... I mean, I don't even think two cups. A cup. So, literally, what cup I'm over. More along the lines of what I'm thinking about, right? Is is there a way to not have to be on this goddamn Xbox app and still be able to see things? Ah, uh, yeah, two cups would have been right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that That's, was that was long too. Sixty one is what I mean. Two cups it. to which direction? To the left. You'll see it. <clears throat> I aimed at one cup, a cup and a half. I missed it by a cup. And I aimed at 61. Like so 60 would have been good. Remember, I gave it 61. I hit it hard. Oh, good shoved try. Oh, I shoved it. Oh, you shoved it on the stick? Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, stick shove, yep. So now I start to wonder... Now I start to wonder if I play around with OBS, can I avoid having to stick on this companion app thing? You know. Oh, you never know. I don't. I think that's just a companion app. It's just shitty. But I'm still curious to try. You know what I mean? The companion app doesn't even work for my Xbox at all. <clears throat> so if you ever was to get an Xbox One S or Series. Yeah, oh. a companion app doesn't work. So that's just so that should have turned off the game. Now you can't see the game at all, right? Yep. No nope. black screen. Now it should oh it should just turn back on. Hasn't turned back on yet. Not yet. Remember, you got to bring up companion app. <clears throat> now, this is where you need to add a scene and make it be right back. So when you are away, you can put be right back. You know what I mean? Yeah, I still don't like that I can't see my myself on. I mean, I know that's it's not a nar it's not a narcissist thing either. It's just you want to be able to monitor your stream. It's a professional thing. Like I you want to be able, able to play with shit while what you're gestures I'm making. And I want right. I want to know what I like, what looks good, what I think looks oh, good. Oh, well, what take, I break out your tablet and look on your um, tablet as your Twitch stream. That's a lot. I mean, that's. It, I mean, I get it, dude. I got that shit that happens to me. Dude, you, I have so much shit going on right now. Literally, I got two monitors up. I got a tablet. My tablet's not on right now, but I could. The, uh, I'm a little shocked the wind didn't push that more to the left. I mean, I did push it a little bit, but... I thought... That oh, I hit it good. Good ball. <laughs> that was a good ball right there. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm just mad that they had the Twitch Studio app and it was perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could turn the camera on and off. Everything was perfect through that, and then they had to go and do whatever they. I mean that. That's so. That's deeply upsetting. I mean. I'm telling you, it's the companion app. The companion app probably had an update. It fucked fudge things up. I, I didn't you know say I mean? that it wasn't, because that was what was working so well. The mirror, I mean, you know, that's what always worked. The mirror app and the studio. So, uh, I'm not saying that's not what messed up. I'm just saying it needs to, un it needs to, you know. <laughs> there may be a future patch that'll fix that, because I'm sure some people uh, are addressing it right There's got to be a right ton now. of people that are unhappy. I mean, I'm... I know that a lot of people used OBS and didn't know the Mirror app, and it took us a long time to even figure that out, whatever, blah, 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 but uh, after I figured it out, there's got to be other people figuring it out. I mean, there's got to be upset people. There's just got to be. You would think. Well, send some feedback. I know I'm not happy. I mean, it, everything was right there in this. You're a user. They need your feedback. I'm sure there's a feedback button you can well, press. Well, I mean, because the thing that bothers me most, oh, dude, is, is right it. now. So I need another fucking... Uh, I w I, basically, you're telling me, go go fuck yourself. Go get another computer screen. Go get another monitor. Otherwise, <laughs> you can't monitor your own uh, stream. I can't say... I can't talk to anybody. Nothing that comes up on the stream, will, uh, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I Oh, yeah, you can't monitor the chat, right? Right. Yeah, I can't do my fucking job. Right, exactly. Wait a minute. You can't monitor chat through OBS anyways, right? You got to be able to have be on Twitch to be yeah, able to look, monitor here's chat. The, here's the point. If OBS was just running like the studio or whatever, okay, I should be able to let that go and go into my dashboard, you know, the... Uh, whatever, you know, the creator's dashboard and, and run ads and talk to people, because as it stands right now, I can't do my fucking job. And I don't know about you, but I find that pretty fucking unacceptable. Am I... I mean, <sighs> the wind's not going to blow it over. No. Am I wrong? I mean, I mean I, you know. No, you're correct. <clears throat> I screwed that up. You probably I mean, got the best lie. Where's your ball? Oh, In the rough. Sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's my job to, to, you know, be talking to people and, and doing the whole Twitch thing, and I can't do that. Like, right now, if I go over to Twitch. Oh, actually, hold on. I'm in Twitch. No, oh, yeah, you're frozen. The game's frozen. So, yeah, I mean... <laughs> This is stupid. This is so stupid. Just trying some shit here. I use Streamlabs OBS on Xbox, and it's amazing. Yeah. Well, you want to come guide me through that then, D? Because, you know... None of this is I, working for me right now, obviously. I screwed the pooch, so you got to get it close. Get in there! Oh, good try. <laughs> oh, you're still, you're still frozen, by the way. Uh, I know you're still, you want to look at the OBS. I, uh, how do I not have... do my job, bro? How do I not... Run ads and worry about subscribers and talk to my chat, bro. Can you minimize, not minimize, but shrink the screens? So, like, what? Go to this screen, and if I shrink it, actually, yes, that's working. That appears to be not. Wait, nope, it's frozen. Got black again. screen. Yep, frozen again. Yep. You know. It has to be full screen. No, what I'm saying is you have two different screens up, right? Right you know now, no. I mean, right now I, I have, I mean. You're up. 
Here, let's try this. Let's try to not, uh... Let's do that, where it's not fully minimized. But still, if I go to What's the other... What's all that? I still think if I go to the other thing, I'm gonna not be able to, do, you know... Why am I hitting everything slow? What's all what, bro? This is this is OBS. This is what I need to be able to be on, which I'm not. So you got both screens you can see right now. Oh, actually, hold on. You're not frozen. Yes. There's a little bit of a delay, but this could work. Slightly less than full screen. Yeah. All right. All right. Right? I mean, ever you can hear you can hear me. You can hear me on the game. Yeah. How long? On the stream. Or, about to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, like this? Can you you can't do it like this? <clears throat> where are you where are you meant to be showing me this? I'm about to show you. Hold on. Like on my phone or? Yeah, I'm about to send you. Okay. Streamlabs. Takes eight minutes. You'll be up and running. Oh, okay. <clears throat> try that. Pick me. Uh, obviously. Yeah. Um. No, I don't have split screens running. I don't know how you even did that. No. We, uh, no. All right. So. These fucking guys, man. Hopefully they're running out of fucking put previews. Can you can can you still hear me on the stream though? Not just on yeah. the Xbox. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's what I've been worried about. Yes. Okay. All right. So I don't know what the companion app even looks like. Hold on. Is this a companion app right here? At the top right, you'll see a box. Right. Right next right, to the I X, did, there's, I there's a box over the box. I, so, look, I've, I'm able to be in my thing right now, so I'm, I'm, and it's not frozen, and you can hear. So me if you and... click that box, it just shows one square instead of a square stacked on top of each other, right? Then you the... can take the side of the very side of the screen. You'll see mm -hmm. the arrows. Then you can drag them left and right. If you hold down the left click, and you can squeeze them, uh, crop them. I cannot. Get away from that. Slow. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go to the companion app is what you're saying. I'm on the companion app now. I hit the two it, boxes, which is what. And it been... shows one box now, right? No, there's still two boxes. What do you mean? Stacked on top of each other? Yeah. So click on that and see what does it do? No, then it'll go. Now it minimized that screen. It's the whole the, screen. The whole screen, it minimized, I put it in the left corner of my thing, yeah. And it's not frozen. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, hold on. Wow, Jesus. So, okay, that's OBS. All right, never mind, yeah, bring that back up. Yeah, it's just the companion app is shitty. That's, that's, you, that's something you have to deal with. Yeah, fix that. Go back to full screen. Because right now I'm just looking at a black screen. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, man. So we'll have to we'll thing. have to find a workaround here. But here's the thing: I did work around it because I can I can min like not minimize it fully, but hit that double thing, right? And yeah. uh, you're up to the bottom. It's now I can still see what's going on 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 my game. I can talk to you and. You know, so that's sort no, that's... of work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't pull it that much. Jesus, I thought I hit a great golf shot there. 
That wind played like an uh, like a nine wind. It was a six, for fuck's sake. I had a phenomenal golf shot there. You know, I think your shot's better. I'm up on that cradle. Yeah, we'll look at the putts, but... Yeah. So that's what D said. D said Streamlabs on OBS. Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never heard of it. Look at this guy. Just threaded it. Are we even playing bad? I mean... From the rough. Well, we, we're making pars. I almost hold out for eagle on two, right? I mean, on the second hole. What was the second hole? The second yeah, hole? they made an eagle, though. You know. Well, I mean... It's your, it's your selection. Uh, how do I switch over to yours again? Uh, this is just... Uh, yeah, I think yours is better. Yours is more uphill. Mine so, is a downhill I, honestly, right to left. You think honestly, mine's better? Yours breaks less. Well, pick what you want. I mean, I, you don't have to believe me. Look at it. I mean, look at it from... It's downhill as well, anyway. And then... Yeah, all right. You're closer, and I think you break less, to be perfectly frank. All right, we'll take it. My opinion. You know. Yeah, look at all the break back there. Where I mean, <laughs> ooh, okay. I would have bet all, all right. the money. I would have bet all read. the money in my bank that I made that fucking. I that I don't miss putts like that very often. Much it was funny. exactly on the line. You put it just inside the line. Right on the line would have been money. Or Let's a little bit honest. harder. Yeah. yeah, or a little bit harder. I mean. Mind you, we, I don't know about you, but I haven't played this game in for, uh... Yeah, me neither. A month, two months, probably. Three months, no, maybe. I, Shit, I don't know. More than that. I, yeah, I don't... I mean... I mean, when you quit, I basically played for, like, another month, and that was it. <clears throat> Didn't hit that good, obviously. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out. I guess I'm gonna have to check out stream. He forgets though. He's also got a. Um, excuse me. Sorry. Um, he also has himself a. Uh, capture card. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's right. Right. I still don't. Oh so yeah, he doesn't have to deal with companion app. Right. I still do not have that. So. I can't believe I'm playing golf. Of all the things to come back and play this. Is that, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> I actually, Why not? You I, a wedge. Well, I actually literally thought about that because it was like a buck 80 and it was on an upslope, you know. And the angles dead straight gap up the wedge. gut of the dead straight up the gut of the fucking. Uh, well, at what with seven wind going, I mean, I think I probably would have hit a pitching wedge anyway or nine iron. 
Probably would have been a little. Oh, Sam Wing going? Oh, shit. That's yeah, 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 yeah. It would have been a little D-loft. Now you're, you're talking about yeah, a sandwich. Yeah, I would have hit a little D-loft and nine iron is what I would have hit. That's uh, And then the angle's better is what I was thinking. I, I So, yeah, I have thought about taking my shot. No doubt. Like, uh. Damn it. We can't get ahead of these guys. Un man. Unquestionably. I mean, I, I, I thought about it. Ooh. Good job. Uh, be as aggressive as you want now. I thought that'd release a little more. I de-lofted and put a little uh, topspin on it. <coughs> Came off perfect, so... Just doesn't, yeah. You know, just doesn't do what you think it, it, you know. Even with the wind going. Yeah, a little short. My putts actually, I think this time. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this time my putts actually is better. I know. Five yard. It was dead straight. A yeah, foot. We were a foot difference, but yours was like very side slope, and this is straight the fuck up the hill. Part of my language, sorry. No, I thought, yeah, he pushed that a little bit and almost hit it too hard. All right. Gonna be one of them specials, bro. <laughs> Clip that, and it came off perfect. That's, I'm still stupid good at that, obviously. There's all kinds of trickery going on there. 90% de-lofted with backspin. I'm just trying to hit it down as far as I fucking could. Why? It's, I mean... I mean, you're already in a perfect spot. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Idea. Lay up yeah. even further back? No, no, you're right. I mean, that's... <clears throat> Excuse me. Basically, just trying to rear it back and... I got 102 and a good shot. Work just working on your swing at that point, right? Now, I've always looked at golf differently from I mean, we're hitting this, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, unless you want a 78 yard odd no, shot. No, not particularly. No, I've always looked at golf differently, though. I mean, I used to play with my dad and, and stuff like scrambles like this or whatever. And, you know, I'd be like, uh, there'd be a putt that'd be like straight up the hill, uh, maybe from eight feet. And there'd be a putt that was five feet. But it You're broke, in a right? pitch. Too, and I would be like, no, nah, man, no, I'm not. And I'd be like, why yeah. would we, you know, why are we not like, you know, shouldn't we be uh, hitting a straight up the hill putt? I mean, you know. That's going to be good, Danny. Oh, how, how... Really? <clears throat> what the fuck?
Like, I want to be mad at that. But I hit it perfect. Fuck. I still don't get it. I still don't understand. I'm still trying to... I'm st still trying to sort out in my head what the fuck happened. I played mine 113. Nah, bro, but I took more club. I aimed it... Whatever, there was a, a four win. I'm, I, I must have aimed it like six yards long, right? I hit it perfect, perfect. Yeah. And it lands four yards short and then spins, uh, you know. It's the, the loft. Chart. The loft you put on it in the four in the face for, doubled it. I laid mine 113. And still was short, shorter than I wanted it. I wanted to land behind the hole a little bit. This guy, man. This is a safe guy, you know. He's the old guy that plays. You're know, like, fuck, man. I just didn't miss, did he? I'm. I mean, I'm not really worried about this match, but it was first match. It's first time I've touched a club in this game in like six months or some shit. Like, I wasn't playing. I wasn't really playing this before I quit. Uh, I guess that's not true. Four, four months maybe. Maybe that's more accurate. You can be a hero too with Pup Preview. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, oh, is it going to get now? Hug that side, no? Oh. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not worried about that at all. You could hit it better in the fairway, but we can certainly service that shot. I hit fast. And we will be servicing that shot. Yeah, this is not an easy... F I mean, you gotta draw it into this fair... Especially with the wind going a little opposite and, and pushing. You have to hit a draw. To hold yeah, it I tried to hug that left side and let it kick off of that hill. And I hit the draw, but I also caught it a little slow. That's the only reason I barely missed the fairway. Oh. The hill? He's joining you. Inside. Yeah. A little inside out. Fucking swing there, huh? Uh, right. Yeah. I mean... Something. He's, I don't know what he, he was trying to cut it. I don't know what he was trying to do. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He was <laughs> trying to cut it and double cross himself. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. He wanted to stay away from the water. That's what he wanted to do. Seemed it seemed like he was trying to cut it and double cross himself. That'd be uh. Then you get the good shot here. This guy. You know what are you gonna do? Just keep Keep on keeping on. That's what you do. Keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. Wow, that rough took a lot out of that, man. 
thought the wind was going to carry it, and the rough just knocked it down, I guess. Alright. It says 90. I mean, did you not hit it clean? Because it's 99 and 94. Did you get 94 instead? I mean. Nah, I hit perfect, perfect. I'll be good. Just checks immediately. Yeah, I put a shit ton of forward spin on it. God. Mm. Oh, uh, stretch. That's right. Oh, good putt. Grazie. Next hole might be important, that tough par three, right? I mean... This guy's got to be running out of putt previews. Ah... Uh... You can be a hero too. With his buddy's probably walking him through it. you. Yeah, his buddy walked him through that one probably. Oh yeah, two cups. Here we are now. And it's and we, oh, it's up front too. Mm. Odd number. It's an odd distance. Hmm. Gather round, children. I want to tell you a story about the great and powerful Swaz. Oh, no. I had that all worked out, too. God. Mm. God. Dang it. I'll oh, be good. Get a bounce right. I'll oh, be good. Nah, it's gonna roll. That's a great shot, Danny. I'll take it. That's a great shot. And we needed it. That was a great shot under pressure. <laughs> Gotta go. But be on shortly. Maybe if you're in, we can get a game. Uh, Steve. Look at this guy. He just fucking hooked it right in there. Look at that. Look at that, man. He just hit a hook. He he, he took yardage off of it with the... Uh, that's what I was de-lofting and, and spinning it. And I was going to... I just hit red slow. I mean, it's the worst tempo I've hit. That's what I did. I de-lofted the five wood. It's literally the worst tempo I've hit this match. I mean, so... It's not as bad as that, but, you know. His buddy I, doesn't miss. Though, I haven't so hit anything matter. that looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't miss, though. No? No, he's, he's hit perfect, perfect every time. That was about a ball outside the line. And I gave I gave it what, you know, the distance they gave me, you know? So. It's a little downhill. It's got a little skiddy skid. Call the ball in. Yep. Good putt. Thank you. Was that right? About a ball in? Yeah. Uh, two balls, maybe.
Oh, he's got a putt preview left. He's looking at it. He nailed it. Oh, well. <clears throat> Whatever. Bitch. Ah, who cares, bro? You know, you know they're using putt previews. You know that I'm not. It, it, I mean, you know. Oh shit! What I hit? What at the end? I mean, what's it matter? You know what I mean? <clears throat> we both started out in the first couple holes a little slow. Oh, I got 105 out of it too, and I get red fast. Hold it. Golly! It'll be all right. It'll be all right from over there though. Sitting up. Yeah, but we can't. An reach. amateur's lie. I gave it all that juice, and we can't reach because I. Mm. All right, I'm in a fairway. Maybe. Shit. I'll take I'm that, not in I'll fairway. Take that Son right of a there. bitch. You slide the, you know, wood or the hybrid right underneath that. In real life, I swear I'd prefer to be with a fucking fairway wood or or a hybrid. But you know. I mean, look at he's dead nuts every time. I mean, I, I'm not. He doesn't concern me. He plays with infant clubs, by the way. I mean. He hit a 314. Yeah. His buddy certainly plays with infant clubs, 267. He hit it, he hit it, he hit it 313, and he hit it like 110% and perfect, perfect. So, you know. Just you could just tell the but traject the trajectory. Look, the driver, two sixty seven, right there. That's this guy. Yeah, that's this little scumbag here. He, he this guy can't hit his way out of a fucking wet paper bag. And you can't even hit those P clubs well. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this guy. You can tell he's probably a newbie. I mean, this guy's got this. He's got a good three wood there. I mean, that's not a baby three wood. Three was better than mine, I think. No, I think mine's two thirty-five. Uh, I don't know. I think mine's. I don't know what mine is. Two forty. Three. I don't know. Well, what is mine? I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> two forty-eight. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Beast mode. Yeah, I used the baby three wood too. I think the, the I used the uh the oh, Hogan. What do I do here? Do I do I? Will this driver? Shitty lie. It's eighty percent, sort of. Let's see what the, see what comes of it. Well, but I'm saying like if you look at this, is ninety five percent, ninety ninety five. Well, this get this doesn't get no. It's gotta gotta try to do this. Ah, oh, red fast is gonna dead it. That's not a bad spot, though. <laughs> Oddly enough. What are you... Okay. Just three wood. Played safe. I mean. A, uh, I mean, we'll take. We're gonna take it. That's gonna be a. Uh, I'm gonna have to bump that. Splash. Land it dead into that upslope, and then just. You can splash it from there. Make, make hit things. a knockdown splash. I gotta make things happen from there, everybody. It's gotta be a show. I mean, if this guy can get it close, I mean... I'm not... Getting it close is not my... Uh, agenda. I mean, to hold this out. Hey, are we... Yeah, is, well, this a, is this a nine-hole match? Yeah, it's, it's uh, online, so yeah. Right. Oh, he shorted it. First bad shot he's hit all day. The cunt. Yeah, right, cunt. Get in there! 
Good try. Yeah, that little slow. Little gray slow. I had it. <sighs> what did you do? Chip that? <laughs> that yeah, was I creative. I like that. I like that play. That was. I was. I. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I put it up a little too high. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, let's take care of this. I mean, it doesn't matter where it is. I still like I like the play. You know? Well, you left it. You left me a good... I, you know. I didn't have to be cute. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm I not could, going anywhere. I can get ugly with it. These guys aren't going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, you know, knock a little rust off. Right. Uh... Yeah, because we 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 played solid that, and you know after the first two holes, the first two holes we both were fucking all over the place. Yeah, I mean eight eight under in a scramble is not great, uh, but you know. Uh... I mean they just got a birdie and an eagle, the first two holes they birdie yeah, we eagled and we parred we birdie. Didn't eagle anything is more that's more to the point. They eagled both the I mean well they eagled the one par five right. Um, yeah, and they birdied the first hole. And we didn't birdie the first hole. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, they left. Poos. Uh, it's whatever. I'm ready. Uglies. Golly. All right, searching. Wait, is it? Are you you still here? No, I'm bailing on that shit. Of course you did. Oh, I'm coming. No. But, uh, uh, it's not saying anything. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah I just I restarted right. it. You said you were. I got you. <clears throat> America! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Do we know these guys? Why Medium. Does Apex sound familiar to me? Medium. This is not my favorite golf course. What is it? Boston? Boston, yeah. Fucking, Boston. Fucking Boston. Oh, yeah, I wonder. See if you know of this. Uh. Okay. Boston. What do I need to know of? Speak on it. Hold on. The map I've been playing on Farm Sim, I I, I I really like it too. I mean, it, I've never thought there would. I mean, farmland in New Jersey, what? No, that's that's inaccurate. Bro, they call it the Garden State. New yeah, Jersey because it's nothing called... but concrete. No, bro, New Jersey's called the Garden State, and it's not meant to be ironic. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I sent you a text. <sighs> Oh, right fast. I sent you a text, uh, maybe. Perfect, so. See if you know where that's at. It's, it's a real map, right? He's got like a GPS. Uh, I mean, do I know where it is by name? No, not specifically. I mean, you can walk across Jersey in a day. Uh, it's, 
I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is. I mean, most of that stuff, most of the, the farm and open land is is like between here and like the the shore, you know. Uh, yeah. Or you get in more in the north, north or south Jersey. You know. Actually, I think south. I, I don't know. I, I don't like it here enough to know uh, to want to know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had a perfect ball. What? What the fuck is this? Or is this my? Or was this my ball? No, nah, yeah, this ball is your ball. Dead the goddamn fairway. Yeah, this is your ball. Oh, all right. I was in the rough. America. Fuck yeah. Ah, damn it. Another fast. Yeah, I, I play. Ish. Shut up, John. Got lucky. You tell him. You tell him, Danny. Say, Canadian John, you shut your mouth. We got two terrorists going down East Bacalaca Daca Street. I'm just slightly off with my wedges. I mean, just not getting. You know, I was expecting the first bounce out of that at least, and it just didn't really. I keep expecting a bounce, and I'm not getting bounces. Greens are medium, so I mean, yeah, I mean, I basically, even, like I'm saying, I even I took less club, lowered the trajectory, you know, put topspin again, and just kind of stuck. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, we're beating them. Oh, this is a different guy. Never mind. I think yours is a better putt. If this, I mean, oh no, well, wow. I think they're equally shitty. Yeah, I agree. Your cousin from Boston. See the Sam Adams commercials? Oh, this hit don't look bad at all. Jump. That's what I do. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. <clears throat> what a bad time I was, uh, you know, to, to for everything to be going wrong with with the, the stuff too, because I was getting ready to. You know, make another really concerted run at getting more followers, more subscribers, or, you know, making another hard go at, at it, and then just everything's just bad. Mm -mm. I don't know what to do with this, Dan. <laughs> no, I mean, no joke, like... Put it on the green. Well... Fucking! I'll oh, get a kick. Wrong way. Get a good lie off that. Okay. Go. <laughs> yeah, there's some speed, baby. Let's go. Where's this? It's Where's this? Come all go? the way. It's coming all the way back to the tee box. Come on. Take the <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit, you're right. This is kind of shitty. It's a tough one, but I just gotta take long. I think I, I tried to get cute and
Oh, fuck me. I hit slow. Well, that's fine. Better there than where the fuck I am. Everybody's short. It's tough. You see the, the hole, and it's tough. Cause, you know, left doesn't seem overly uh, appetizing. So you, then you end up blocking it, and that's worse. That's what happened to me. I tried to play it out to the left, and or yeah, and then just blocked it to the right. Yeah, man. It's not, yeah. Tried to just sort of hook it or, or cut it onto that left plateau and just leave it out there and maybe get a putt. No, he and he flushed it. Look at him. Patting himself on the back right now. That's what I tried to do. Yeah. But I didn't try to hit it so deep, though. I wanted to put it up on that porch. I mean, this is <laughs> hysterical. That that came all the way back that far. Now we're faced with this tough shot. Little we may got to put a preview from there. No, no real green to work with. There. Oh, I got this. Never mind. Just call this the American Special Rare. <laughs> I always hit gray slow, and that time I hit gray fast. Go figure. Otherwise, it's in it to win it, baby. You know, come out. And I hit red fast there. Copycat, huh? Well. America. Ooh. Will his partner use a pup preview? Or will he trust the read his partner's given him? They could win the hole. Or he could miss. Causing an indecipherable number of possibilities. He's reading his putt preview right now. And there's the adjustment. You can be a hero too with And he missed it. Uh, maybe he didn't use a putt preview. Maybe he thought, you know man. what, we got one here. No you know, there's no They didn't have any loot lo there's you know, if you make it, you're in good shape. If you miss it, no you know. Nobody loses. <clears throat> Pars don't win. It's my favorite line from any movie ever, by the way. What? When, uh... <clears throat> when, uh... Don Johnson goes to, uh... Kevin Costner's Winnebago or whatever, and he's like, and you know, host this tournament every year, and God damn it, I'm tired of seeing the money leave town with, uh... with other people. And he's like, make more birdies. <laughs> <laughs> super non... Like, su like, super casual. He's just like, yeah, well, you know. Make more birdies. No. Yes. Ooh, hey, how you doing? Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a terrible rough. Huh? That's a rough side slope there. I don't think you want to really be there, to be honest. I mean, you know. And a club up. On a long par four. 
I don't know who just came and left. There were briefly four people in here. Mm -hmm. oh, he, his partner went the other way. Uh, yeah. Don't know which is worse, to be honest. I don't know. I think I would take his partner. Yeah, I would take that one. The flat line. Yeah, flat line. Yeah, I guess you got an angle here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, it's just, this is the one. Watch him pick that one because he thinks it looks prettier. There's too much shade over there. This is the one. This is definitely the one. <laughs> he took it. It certainly did take the time to figure it out, though. These is 223.3 wood? And look and at that, just flushed it. Yeah. <laughs> Why, I do declare. Sir, you are a scoundrel. This looks half good. Dave, clutch that one. Oh, good. Oh, deep. Taking dead aim. Flat line. Up slope. Mm. Carry a tree iron. Who knew? I certainly do. That's oh, not going to get there. That's 12 uh, down. Is it not? Uh, it looks good to me. I mean, that's... Uh, well, up, you know. Up, fairly straight uphill putt. You know, I hate those. Um, <laughs> you know, I like it. I would have loved it to have carried a little further. <sighs> I'm so sick of staring in the jaws of, like, greatness and having that shit come out. Do you, you take the break or you take the slider? Oof, this, I take the Ugh. slider. That, I mean, that's breaking quite a bit. Yeah, it is breaking a lot. This, this thing is downhill. It's just, this breaks a bit too, and it, it's a tricky break. I think it's going to go a little left at some it's point. It's going to slide left. Yeah. No, 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 it did. Dead straight. Yeah, yeah. He used the putt preview there, straight obviously. Putt. But, uh, Maybe. No, he did. But, I'm sorry, let me be clear. He did. <laughs> Maybe you were mistaken. So, yeah. It's like, I'll use mine this time, bro. Oh. Fuck Danny, I actually pushed that a little bit. Uh, so, that breaks a, a, a little bit more than, I mean, yeah. It's like a half cup out, at least. Yeah. Doesn't look like that, does it? Mm-mm. It looked pretty straight. That, uh, bro, I I, I... 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 I immediately, when it missed, I was like, oh, did I pull it or something? Right? I looked at my thing, I actually shoved you it a little bit. pushed it. I actually pushed it a little bit, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, so that's so why I was like, immediately... On the case, I was like, oh, you might want to, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Hit a fucking person. Hit that, Hit that rock. That rock. <laughs> Jinx. Got a boy. All those years, people saying, you know, the only reason I was any good was because of my partners. And that's finally starting to be true, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're profits. It wasn't. Well, these right. guys got the big boy drivers with the little <clears throat> baby fucking clubs behind it. It was never true about me when they said it, but nowadays, you know.
it's the Nostradamus effect, yeah. Really? Are they having a hard time picking which middle of the fairway shot they want? I mean... <laughs> well, okay. pitch and wedge or gap wedge. I mean. Are you between clubs? Like, I mean... Oh, actually, they don't have a pitch and wedge or gap. It's probably like a nine iron for them. 120 yards? Jesus. Ugh. I want to get super cute with this, by the way. <laughs> oh, red fast. I was trying to hit like a super low trajectory pitching wedge there. <laughs> Don't ask. I'm just having fun. Let you gotta let me have fun. I, I you know I gotta ease my way back into golf. It's devastating. I really wanted to hit that shot, and it would have pulled it off too if it weren't for those pesky kids and that dog. I hit swell. Fuck. Uh, yeah, so mine was better. That's all it takes, right there. It's my, so fucking my slow. Super flighted fucking pitching wedges on the green, at least. <laughs> so bad. <clears throat> yeah, he nuts it. I wish you. I wish he would have just hold it out, cause you know. <laughs> That would have made... No, because then we still got to make a putt. I mean, I know we can still make our putts, but I mean, you know. If we I'd miss rather our, not hold it out. If we miss our putts, I'd rather him just have hold it out because, you know. Then and then be down two like, shots? Yeah, whatever. I mean... Are we no. putting? Jeez. Yes, we're putting. No, we're putting. You're no fun fucking fun police over here. Look, they're Come debating. On, yeah. <laughs> have a have a debate about it, why don't you? Chipping was straightforward and it was I was getting perfect perfect every time. We could you know, I don't know. It, it, that's pretty that's a lot of break over there. It's putt. It's got a lot I the chip was Straight up. Oh, this is a, the chip is like straight up hill, so I was kind of looking at it. <laughs> no, you see all that break over there? Nah, just, nah, nah. Straight up hill, my nah, ass. Nah, 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 you're wrong. I don't know, man. Fuck it. I mean, I hit a near perfect play. Should've Give me one, baby. Say, you should have got a fucking read. I mean, I did, but I had to. I had to, you know. What? Well, gauge it. Make I it used the putt preview more, there. Make it more dramatic, as I. <laughs> I used the putt preview there, but I missed the putt preview because I read your read. And you had three quarters of that box over it. So Ever I was like, okay, showman. I'll put it a half. And it was still missed. So I, I couldn't figure that out. So I had to bring it back in a lot. Ever the showman. Gotta make it more dramatic. You yeah, know... I used to put preview there just to make sure after... Why not? I mean, I got fucking three of them to burn. See, uh, that's understandable. We're 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 he's next to the hole and we're a mile away. Yeah, whatever. Then this ball on its way. Wow, red fast.
Oh, I, I'm still muted. I sung a little song about me coming back to them and everything. And it's like, now you see me, now you don't, now you see me again. And then I said, that's where I wanted to be because he hit the ball right where I wanted to hit the ball. And then, yeah, that all happened while I was on mute. Yeah, so... Oh, I see. Why was you away? Uh, because I'm I guess in the, the angle because of the dog leg. Yeah, I'm in the far right side of the fairway. Yeah, you cut a lot of angle out of the hole. Being on the left, I guess. So. What the Jeez. fuck is that, bro? Duffed it. That divot you left behind after that was amazing. Yeah, I Fucking. don't... <laughs> you feel like you hit it fast and you get slow. Yeah. Backwards as fuck. Good ball. <sighs> you know. Yeah, I do. I, I know, thought it, the wind was going to carry it a little further to the left ball, there. So, right? yeah, I saw All right. But I had the foot lie going left, the wind going left, and it felt like it just went straight. To the left, to the left. With the five wood, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know. It's embarrassing that you carry a five wood, sir. You're my partner. You're the numbers partner. game, dude. I get a little more out of it than I can out of Absolutely. one of those hybrids. Yeah, a few more extra yards. It's a numbers game. I'm embarrassed by proxy. <laughs> it works for me, anyways. That was a five wood. Hmm. Fuck, that's straight, ain't it? You know, Think straight and see what happens. I'm playing it left center. Good play. Yeah, that's right in the center of the fucking cup. Put that in a thimble. I couldn't have placed it any better. Pretty flat green, I guess. Just, you know, it's it's TPC Boston. This golf course isn't uh, protected by difficult greens. Water and shit. And land. It's it's the trees. It's the it's the trees, the bunkering. Uh, you know, right. The length. There's a lot of things. Yeah, but in a video game, that shit doesn't matter. Well, there's a lot, I'm saying there's a lot to protect this water. golf course, but uh, slopey greens is not is not one of them. They may be some of the greens may be small, but not no. You won't find many of them that are too slopey. The 103 smashed it. Fucking massive upslope. I'm not sure that that's right. I'm not sure we'll be playing that. <laughs> good good shot. We won't be playing it. You know. Pay attention to these guys' clubs. They got like the biggest drivers they can carry. Except for this guy, then, he's got like the one step down. 
and then like and then yeah and then like um junior the female fucking... iron right. right yeah yeah what they're debating look they picked the one back they know it's an upslope back there oh Set up slope a little back here too, but I'm not trying to. Yeah, but I was on a fucking I'd ramp. Rather fucking be uh working with a. I'm just gonna hit this actually. God, I mean, man, eh, whatever. It's dancing. I fully de-lofted the lob wedge there. Just let it rip. is better bounce that's beautiful we'll take it straight up hill again yeah. Yeah. razzle dazzle it's gotta be the shoes gotta be Ooh. Wah wah. Hi, right, buddy. Put it on the green. You should have picked your guy back 114 or 128 or whatever the hell he was. Now y'all got this awkward. Oh no, he's got 96 yards. Look, his clubs are so small they don't even give him the option for a pitch. That's just bad. Yeah. This wasn't very good. And they're on the green. They hit a putt preview. I, I mean, used one. I mean, I, I full, fully de lofted a lob wedge there. Every chance they had a bad shot with all the shit that I did with that, you know. <laughs> and I hit it closer than them, which is just sad. You can be a hero too with Pop Preview. He needed it. I don't blame him. The tool. The, the tool? No, I said it's a tool. Oh. What is this? I said the tool. El tool. What is what now? Who, what, where, when, why, how? What? Hey, there's a button that says give feedback. Give feedback? Yeah, so I gave you feedback. I just chose skill or whatever the hell, you know. Oh, be right. Good shot. Why did it's it jump so right? Soft, bro. I mean, I realize I have full spin on a six iron there, but it's a six iron. Be better. Be really good. 
Why does it jump right? No, that's... Uh, I'm not sure my putt's not easier. Might be. I'm, mine's, mine's... I gotta... Yeah. Grr. 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 You scared me with your shot, and I was like, oh, well, I don't want to do that. I told you exactly what happened. I mean, six iron. Yeah, so I fully, didn't put fully spun. that much. You played yours 168. I played mine 170. I put half or less of backspin on it and loft, and mm, he's in the that water. happened. That was a nice, oh. nice, nice hook. Oh, well, he's out of it. Yeah, we're, Even if he yeah, makes his putt. Definitely my putt, bro. I mean, yeah, I'm up on a ridge over there. Yeah, even if he makes this, I mean, he's still out of it. That's a good thing about this. If you put in the water, you can't just be like, well, I'll just take my partner shot. No, you're still down a stroke. Mm -mm. Plot preview. You can this is this this is like a this hole reminds me of like a TPC knockoff. This is TPC. I meant sawgrass. <laughs> this TPC like a sawgrass knockoff. Nah, there's because there's uh, this is a big green. I mean, and I know you're coming in with a. Mid iron as opposed to a wedge or, or a short iron, but you know, this green. There's a lot of room to miss to the right here. You know what I mean? Oh, that island. There's really not any, a lot of room in any. Give me a read, Andrew, uh, or put it in a cup. D yeah, I mean, this just looks like it's gonna break about two cups. Come on, man. Oh, I, I shorted it. <laughs> that's, that's hanging on the edge. Living on the edge! Good roll. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good read. Just happy to have contributed to a hole, you know, that's all. That's all. It's a good tee shot on a tough par three. Happy to have hit it. Yeah, I wish you could have got a little more roll up on him. I'm surprised you me, just uh, me stuck. Too, man. Yeah, me too. Me too. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. This is one of those. Does it pay to do that? Not typically speaking. Oh yeah, it's that funny ass damn hole. In it. Yeah, go all the way down there. See what happens. Uh, first of all, I'll do what I want. Wait, what the fuck? Just wait, what the hell is You're this not the boss of me now. And you're not so big. I know where it's going to end up, John. In the rough. In the deep, deep, deep rough. Oh, I didn't even know that, so these guys are... Phew. Nah, I'll lay back. Uh, that doesn't make sense, bro. Lay back. 100 yards? If, if you hit the fairway, right? Look, none of that hit the fairway at any point in time. So if you hit the fairway, you're going to be inside 100 yards. I drew that back quite a bit. Yeah, that's the plot. A little fucking stinger down there. It was smart. It was a smart play. It was a smart play. 
Well, that was not smart. That's <laughs> jail right there. See? Well, they feel they're see? they're they're, oh, they're in jail, desperation yeah. mode now. We got to prison here. Yeah? I was hoping to sucker him into a bad drive, but he, he cut it in there. He oh, played the draw. That's a good shot. Yeah, beautiful right there, yeah. Can't believe they, there was even a, a thought that went through any of their heads about which ball they would play there. Hope that person was like going to the bathroom or something. <laughs> no, great That's fast. That's a little great fast on that one. I can't right off the face. You see it. All right, let's see what we got. I bet that was a good number too. That's lovely. Sounds good. Oh, get in. Good shot. Apply pressure here. You know, Wimbledon's on this week. Yeah. We're at two, two weeks. Are there any tennis players that I know of playing? Nadal and Djokovic are there. I don't know, Fed. You know, uh, he's had he's had three knee surgeries in the past. Like, I don't know. Since 2016. Uh, is he retiring yet? Or is he nah, sort of you know, it's weird. not playing it, every tournament? There's this weird thing because, you know, uh, look. He played like a couple tournaments in 2020 or 21 or whatever. And then, you know, I, I don't know if his knee wasn't fully healed. He had another knee surgery or whatever. And with COVID, he's not really playing anyway, you know. He says... So this last knee surgery he had was pretty serious, I guess. He says it's he's happened. gonna come back uh, starting at the Labor Cup, that little exhibition that he, you know, put to, started putting together about five years ago or whatever. Um, yeah. So he's gonna start with the exhibition, and I mean, I know everybody thinks what I think. Everybody hopes like he'll be back. You know, if you got to wait till you're fully healthy, wait till you're fully healthy because the other two are starting to lose. I mean, I know Nadal just won again, you know, but he really should have lost to Medvedev in at the Australian Open, let's be honest. And then they're starting to lose to players that when Federer was their age, he didn't lose to, if you follow what I'm, you know what I mean? He only lost to them. So, like, they're getting to that age where if he holds on and they're done and he can make another run... You know what I mean? And, and you know, clip off another three or four, which he's very capable of doing if he's healthy. Well, he's going to have to because didn't Nadal just pass him up or something? Yeah, but yeah, right. He, he's he got 22. But look, it's, I mean, in my opinion, and I'm saying this, and I don't know who's watching or who's listening, but this is my opinion, and this will always be my opinion. Uh, Federer is the, the best. Now, I will say this. On clay. No, right, well, here. Here's what I'm going to say. This is all I'm going to say. And I'm going to let you all look it up if you want to look it up. You want to look up statistics? You can look up statistics. But take Clay away from the doll, and he's not he's an average Hall of Famer at best. I hate to Still say that. Still a Hall that. of Famer, though. I hate to say that, but he's an a average Still a Hall, Hall of Famer, though. I, I, and did I say he wasn't? I'm not saying I'm he wasn't. Yes. Yeah, he'd be – let's see. He would have 
uh, two Australian Opens, two U.S. Opens, and two Wimbledons, I guess. Or yeah, Nadal's right. got two Wimbledons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many's Fed got? Eight. And oh. he and he and in 2019 when he played Djokovic in the final. He won more total points. He won more total games. He won more total everything and lost the match because they did a stupid. I don't agree with uh, finals of majors ending in uh, tiebreakers. By the way, that's just uh, I'm against that. That uh, you know, but whatever. He still had the tournament on his racket. He, he should have won it, you know, but he didn't. Uh, yeah, but Fed, like you said, he's done. Who? Fed. They're all, but the no, but I see they're all done. Right? He's been really like last time he took a lot of time off. He came back and he won three in <clears throat> in a year and a half. You know, yeah. so uh, Nadal's it, got back problems, right? Nadal's got all. I mean, he's got a knee problem. I mean, not knee, uh, a foot problem that's chronic and getting worse. He had to have shots all throughout uh, Roland Garros. All throughout the French Open, he was getting injections. Uh, and and Djokovic is starting to lose the people he just shouldn't lose to. He's a head case. He is. He's always been. But, like, you know, age... I, people always have under... Look, I, you and I have had this conversation. People always underestimated Roger Federer, not realizing that those guys have six years on them. I mean, when you're 30 and you're playing against 24-year-olds, <laughs> as, like, oh, you know, just about as talented as you, you know what I mean? Uh, and you've got back problems because you got a bad knee. Uh, you know, I mean, that was rough for a while. And then when they caught up, sort of, and he was still his inhuman self at, like, you know, 36 through 38, and they were in their, finally in their 30s, he started winning again, you know. And then they they're starting to lose to random people bro i mean he never did that at, at their age you know what i mean he didn't lose to random ass people he still only lost to them so people forget that and i also want to point out talking about the greatest of all time it'll always be federer to me he started in the sampras era okay where grass was preposterously fast clay was ridiculously slow and hard courts were hard courts you know and now all the surfaces are more homogenized to make it more competitive. That's how good Federer was. You know, they literally homogenized the speed of the courts to give people like Nadal a better chance. <laughs> it's just not even a joke when you think about it that way. But like, uh, and so then he played through the Leighton Hewitt, like the and the ground strokes now, and then Nadal and Djokovic. He played through like three different. Totally different types of tennis era, you know. You know what I'm saying? And was always one of either the top three players in the world. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about this. Let's talk about 104 total titles, 20 uh, majors. You know. Let's talk about the two people that he had to beat had six years on him. You know, and in tennis, that's a lot when you're 30. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when he got to 30 and they were 23 and 24, you, you follow what I'm saying here or no? Yeah. I mean, I know I'm a little biased. Don't get me wrong, right? But And I'm open to having a conversation about Djokovic, okay? We can, good player. We can converse about, uh, like, a GOAT debate if it's Djokovic. But... But when, not Nadal. But 22 majors and 14 of them, 14, fully 14 of them, are at one event. Uh, or head to head. Yeah, you know, head to heads. Here's what I have a problem with when it comes to head to head, because it, and it goes back to clay again. Okay. Half of the season's clay. <laughs> Half of the season's clay. Federer's best surface is actually grass, right? And you only they only play three three tournaments on grass. I mean, literally, three. Uh, so, you know, whereas not only is half the season clay, it's also sporadic. Like, they'll have hard courts in the beginning of the season, right? 
uh, through the Australian Open and Miami and Indian Wells. Then they'll do a little clay, then go right into grass, then do some more clay, and then go back on the hard courts. There's a ton of clay. Uh, uh, there really is. The fact that he hasn't won... Oh, man, sorry. The fact that he hasn't won more is... Uh, and people need to stop saying that Federer is not good on clay. He's one of the greatest play players that ever lived, in point of actual fact. He just happened to be playing against God <laughs> on clay. Too often. I was I was more talking about Djokovic and Fed head to head. Head to head. So, when they faced each so, other. So so and, and I'll bring this back to what I said originally, right? And and I mean I this, get right? Djokovic is young. Right. Younger. He absolutely throttled them. And then he got to in his 30s, and they were in their mid-20s, and they caught up, and I'm past them. So, you do whatever you want with that, you know what I mean? Yeah. What about females? What about females? What do you want to know? Um, Who's the best? Who's the goat there? You know, I, I, I'm inclined to say uh, Serena Williams. I just, I don't know. There's a couple things, like... No other competition there? I don't know. I mean, the competition wasn't, I mean, great. Maria Sharapova carved out a decent career for herself during that. Really, Venus and Serena, I mean, you know. Uh, what about that young girl, the young black girl? The French well, girl, whatever done. the hell she Okay, is. so they're done. So Venus and Serena are, are, are actually done, you know. Yeah. Not Serena's officially retired. Though, no one officially retired, but they're they're done. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, They're old and... I believe, I genuinely believe Federer's got another run in him. Plus, I know for a fact that one of his goals is to catch, um, oh, the name escapes me right now. Jimmy Connors? Connors. Connors. Right. For what, wins? Yeah, he's got 109, and Federer's at 104. So, uh, I know he wants that. I know he wants to catch that, at least. Um, so, you know. Federer's, I believe, got one more run in them. He's going to make sure he's absolutely ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then that'll be, I that will be it, I believe. Uh, you know. Um. Girls, there's this Polish girl that's actually taken. I mean, Ashley Barty was an Australian girl who was the number one player in the world and pretty dominant for a year and a half or whatever, and retired. She won the Australian Open this year and retired. And since then, there's this girl, Iga Schwantek. Uh It's spelled very differently from how it's pronounced, right? But uh, she is dominant. Uh, you know. So, that's, I mean, that's the, if you talk about females, I mean, that's the one right now. Uh. She's only 20, I mean, you know. So, the whole, I mean, yeah, I'm not even, maybe. 19? And with females, Serena is, outweighs them by 60 pounds and is athletic. I'm not prepared to say anything like that. So, she's you got can, way you more can, power. You can, you can say it if you'd like. I'm not going to uh, touch that. She's a thick football. chick um, that's athletic. So. But, you know, what are you going to do against that? I mean. Look. Power, right? Power dominates, right? Since she had her child, she's just not. Down. She's just not the same. Not the look, same. Well, and she's it's, fat it's phys- now. It's she's not phys- thick. It's physiological. Well, she's been fat for a while, bro. Before the kid, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> look, yeah, come on, let's be serious. Before she was solid, though, that wasn't uh, fat. No, no, it, no. She was fat before the kid. Yeah, she had big tits and a big ass. Um, but listen. Uh, you know, you physiologically change. That's the thing. When women have children, their hips spread. Spread, right. And she then, already had wide hips to begin with. Uh, you know, she's just not... I, you she's know, a mom now, man. I don't want to say that moms can't mom win bod. either because I, there was a mom that did. What, what was her name? Um... Yeah, but she was German, probably skinny, though. German girl. Um, I think she was German or Belarusian. I don't know. 
He was probably skinny, though, right? What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. It's not that skinny, but what the hell was... It's bothering me that I can't remember her name. Um... Ah, whatever. But anyway. And now, uh, uh, Azarenka's back and playing. And she's had a kid, and she's playing pretty well. Uh, you know. But again, here's the thing. These girls that are not just deciding to have kids, they're deciding to have kids in their 30s. And I will express to you again, in tennis years, being in your 30s is, I mean, you know, run. imagine a sport, all your whole life is what you're doing is running wind sprints, stopping real quick and making a <laughs> swing. And then, you know, uh, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, people think it's like a leisurely sport. It's not a leisurely sport, guys. Uh <laughs> But didn't um, Agassi and Graf had kids when yes. they were playing still? Yes. Yeah. They were good still. I mean, Graf was still good. One of them attempted to play, I think. Um... After the kids? No, no, no. You misunderstand. Agassi and, and, and Graf had kids. She was retired when they had kids, I believe. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I figured so... she might have still been playing. I think I think she retired before they had kids. Um, go ahead, and hit it. Uh, but oh, I'm I gotta get in bed, man. Uh, one fourteen. Nah, it's one fourteen, man. We'll have to get started earlier tomorrow or something. I gotta get in bed. All right. It is my absolute bedtime. So I'll just say that you know uh, Serena's 37 she's just, or uh, I'm sorry she's 40 now she's the same age as Roger so now she's 40 when she had the kid she was like 37 you can't have in tennis which is already a brutal sport on your body you can't like have a kid at 37 and, and expect to come back and and you know she she, I heard tried, she was uh, she battling almost injury, did too. she almost did she made a couple major finals she got beat by Osaka and then younger uh, girls, right? more athletic. Right, Osaka and then um, she could you know, overpower them. Uh, she Andrescu. relied on her power. Bianca and Drescu. Um she absolutely relied on her weight or advantage. So, you know, and then Venus, Venus is at an autoimmune problems, and she's she's even older, so she's. She's just done. She, I, yeah. I don't know. It's if just funny because she was more built like a done, tennis player. Done. You know? She's done, done. Um, Skinny, lanky. Yeah, that's not really true, though. I, I, I mean, uh, you know, it, to, I, tennis, tennis players need to run. So having, you know, muscular legs and things you know that's that's why i was part of why serena plus a lot of power comes from you know, the lower you know your legs the lower part of your body but your legs your ass you know um and then works its way up into your core where you turn you know so uh mm. yeah but i mean you gotta run tennis is uh, you know tennis is running that's it it's wind sprints uh, i mean uh, she was good on fast surfaces. Venus was incredible when grass was still really fast. She won a bunch of Wimbledons and, you know, um, because she hit right through the court and you couldn't run it. You couldn't run one of her shots down, you know. But she was never really a rallier, you know what I mean? She would be, like, in a rally for 40 shots, or you know. Uh, Serena uh, could do that. I mean, it wouldn't be her preference. She's so powerful. She she threw people as well. But, you know, she was built to, in my mind, you know, more like a, a to, to last longer and more like a tennis player with the, with, you know, she was overly thick, you know, in her, as she got into her thirties, but, uh, you know, when certainly all through her, I mean, she, that was like a, a almost prototypical if you were to build a female tennis player and say, like, this person's going to crush everybody, you know. Um, she could run and hit the, hit the hell out of the ball, you know. So, yeah. Uh, I remember that's one of the things when Roger finally came back healthy. One of the things that all the announcers noticed was how thick his 
calves were again. They had gotten thin, you know, because he couldn't, his back was bothering him, his knee was bothering him, he couldn't work out as much as, you know, he used to. I remember that's what it, uh, they all kept saying, you know, he looks so much in better shape again, like uh, he's, his calves are so much thicker, you know. Uh, again, he could, so he's clearly been able to work them out, you know. Um, so I, that's how I feel. I, I think he's got another run in him. I hope he does. I certainly hope he does. Uh, I don't think that the majors alone, the Grand Slams alone, make the greatest player. Again, he played through three totally different types of generations of tennis. You must understand. You know what I mean? And all of them, you know, were uh, he he changed. He he. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> and then. Finally, those kids grew up watching and knew exactly that their, their coaches literally watched Federer beat the shit out of everybody and made perfect plans on how to beat Federer. You know what I mean? The 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 Nadal, the Djokovic, you know what I mean? All they did was sit mm-hmm. around and watch and, and, and create plans to be able to, you know, what do we do? Well, and for Nadal, it was even easier because he's left-handed. And he's and and Fed's got the one-handed backhand, and so with a really heavy, hard, top-spin forehand that he has, you know, and off the serve, that a cross-court battle is an a one-handed backhand to a, a really heavy top-spin forehand against Nadal, you know. That's you know you've heard horses for courses and bad there's bad matches, you know, right? Well. That's one of those things, like you know, like Ali didn't do particularly well against Joe Joe Frazier. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You know that doesn't make him not the greatest heavyweight that ever lived. You know, just something about Joe Frazier. Well, that's what it was about Nadal. That you know, and he overcame that. The last time he made his run when he started in 2017, Nadal didn't beat him for two years on any surface except for one time on clay. For, for like two whole years so he came back with a you know he came back he he had a better backhand he learned how to hit that more up the line and harder you know so they couldn't pick on his backhand anymore and and you know that but so they had all the time in the world to say this is this guy we got to beat this guy this is the guy and their coaches and their parents and them you know they all just designed their games to be you know anti federer and then they had six years on him, six and seven years. You know, you know, we could talk, right? Yeah, we could talk about this all day. And then they had six and seven years on him for Christ's sake. So it's not so, the grand slams that make a great tennis player, right? I'm not saying that's not important, but he's I mean, not, in the women's, right? You got some nobody from Australia who leads in grand slams, right? Margaret Court is her name, and she's not nobody. I mean, she played in the same generation as like uh, Billie Jean King and. Um, ever no nah, well that was a little before ever maybe uh ever when ever first came on the scene you know when she was mm. just a, a little a wee thing um but ever and never to live she might have in in the twilight of her career she might have played against against them but uh, i've never heard of her before really I, until you just mentioned her name i just knew that serena wasn't the leader it was some girl i've never heard of yeah, I mean, so... And it uh, wasn't Navratilova, it wasn't Billie Jean King, it wasn't Chris Everett. I thought it was Chris I thought Chris Everett was the all-time winningest so, female. So here's the other thing, right? And when we talk about females and how great some of them are, you can't... I, I can't quote, underscore, highlight, and exclamate this enough. You have to understand that Chris Everett and Martina Navratilova were rivals and basically like the same age and played in the same era and they each have 18 for Christ's sake. That's like, that's like Nadal, Djokovic and Federer right now that 2020 20 and 22, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I mean, you know, how many would one of them have won if the other wasn't there? How many, right. if, you think, if, 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 if Nadal, just Nadal, you know, didn't exist. Cause Federer is a great clay. He would have won probably four. I would say. Four. Well, how many how many would have Serena won if she grew up with Graf and Natural and Navratilova and Ever? What if she was playing against them rather right. than so 
because she played against I fucking don't know. And maybe so, because she was listen, so dominant like Tiger so, that so you just, nobody else was able to make a name for themselves. So listen, and this is what I'm going to say. And this is this this is so and and the thing is exactly this. You, that's tough. That's tougher than talking about Roger Federer and Nadal and Djokovic because you're removing 20 years now. You, you know what I'm saying? So right, it's with women. It seems like there was great tennis, and then there was just Serena dominant. With men's, it's always been, even though Federer's always well, been dominant. Guys have, there's always those, he's those always had competition. Guys, those three guys were for 15 years. You should read. Uh, you should like look over the stat sheet one time. Like literally, and even before him, there was Connors and. And Agassi and McEnroe. Well, Sampras. It was always Sampras great tennis players and, on the men's uh, side. Sampras. Always great competition. Well, Sampras. Look, here's all you need to know about how good Roger Federer is, too. Like, Andy Roddick is probably one of the more underrated players that's ever lived. He had as good a serve, I would say, maybe as Pete Sampras. As good a forehand. He was supposed to be the next guy. And... Totally just, he was number one in the world for a year or two, and then Federer just said, I'm here. Um, you know, the guy had a 140-mile-an-hour serve. He, I, I don't think people really appreciate how good some of the guys were before Djokovic and Nadal even arrived on the scene. Like uh, Leighton Hewitt. Uh, Agassi was still playing, by the way, at that point in time. Um you know. But he was done, though. No, he wasn't. That's the thing. I mean, he actually Well, if he got was still better. around, nobody else was really making a name for him. He them, actually though. got better uh, in his in his early... Like, he the, his, the best part of his career was, like, in his early 30s. Um, but, uh, you know, like, one that really comes out and sticks in my mind is Leighton Hewitt. But, you know, Andy Roddick, Leighton Hewitt, you know, there's some guys... Safin, Marat Safin, uh, yeah, there's just like they would have been somebody if Federer wouldn't have never showed up, right? There's a there's a few players that would have been legendary if Federer wasn't just absolutely Federer. Yes, that's my argument. Who is that on the women's side if Serena never showed up? I Sharapova is the only what she is. I Sher- mean, she, Maria she, Sharapova. She carved, and she carved she still played well. The career that that you know, right? There, uh, yeah. There wasn't anybody like. There wasn't anybody that was supposed to be, you know what I mean? The next great. Uh, Chris not, Ebert, not in my <laughs> mind, right? In my mind, uh, you know, there was Lindsay Davenport was pretty good. Yeah, know? yeah, I heard of her. That's right. Uh. Anna Kornikova was way better than people remember. She got actually the number one in the world, and then just decided what? I'd rather be a model. She really just right. She was the hot one, rather right? not play tennis. Yeah, she right. was like super hot. Right. So then you know, so there was always a, a player, and usually it was someone who was good on clay that would give Serena a hard, uh, you know, a hard time. Like Justine Hennen is one that uh, that got quite a few. You know who it was? Martina Hingez. You want to talk about who was supposed to be? It was Martina Hingez. And they came and destroyed her, those two. Venus and Serena. So, um, She had already won something. I think something. I've heard her name. Yeah. She's got some Grand Slams, she right? Was, yeah, she had already won like six. And then she was just done. She, did, she just could not beat those two. That was, that was it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that... She's the biggest one, I would say. There was always, you know, because, I, I, again, and, and I say this, when it comes to them, it's the separation in eras. Like, you really have to, to, to reach true greatness, you have to go back, not that far to Steffi Graf, but she was done. She wasn't playing by the time, I don't think, by the time those girl, the girls came out. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, and, and when you talk about things like that, you also have to talk about the equipment. Which is why it's so hard to talk about the GOAT as, as it pertains to different eras. You know what I mean? Because, you know, could Serena have played with, like, wooden rackets like Chris Everett and, and Martina Navratilova? Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Would she have been the same player? You know, um, 
So that's the, the kind of that. But you have to go back to them, I would say. Martina Hingez was supposed to be it, you know. Uh, Justine Hennen carved a nice career out for herself, winning French Opens. Because that's what, you know, like I said, there's usually the dominant players in the world, and then there's the, the people who win French Opens. <laughs> <laughs> Nadal with 14. Uh, <clears throat> no, but I, there I'm was not, that Yugoslavian I'm not, girl, I'm not right? meaning to slight. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to slight Nadal. He's great. There was that he girl really from is, Yugoslavia, but... right? Monica. See, that, that was... was the 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 Steffi Groff era. Mar- Monica Sellis, and she but actually. She played, now, what I'm saying, she played during when when Serena first started. She was in there, right? Uh, no. I remember seeing her name a few times. I mean, she might have been, but that was after the incident. Well, I like... And I don't know if you know what the incident is. So. No, I don't. So she was a uh, like she came onto the scene. And Steffi Groff was by far and away the number one. There's no one even close, right? And and Monica Sellis came on. Who are you calling? <laughs> Monica Sellis came on to, uh, this, to the scene, okay? Right? And she hit the ball with both hands from both wings. I remember that. She Like forehand and backhand. She kept both hands on the racket. And uh, she won like a bunch of majors really quickly, beating the shit out of even Steffi Graff. And then at the French Open one year, some crazy fucking fan jumped down into the stadium and stabbed her. Literally stabbed her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So she was never the same after that. I guess it was it's mental, you know, she she just never she was she was primed and poised to absolutely go blow for blow with Steffi Graf and maybe pass her. You know, and some lunatic stabbed her, you know, and then she was never the same. So. But people, like I said, anything for that, yeah, I got to go back to. Yeah, to, I think that's why the, I remembered her name. Yeah, she, yeah you got to go. That. Really, you got to really you got to go back to the people that you mentioned, which is, you know, Navratilova and ever. And they both won 18 singles. And they beat the shit out of each other as much as anyone in history. So, but again, the equipment, very different. You know what I mean? So, whatever. You know, and Margaret Court was 15, I don't know, like 15 years before them uh, with uh, Billie Jean King. They also didn't have the facilities that we have today. No. To help you recuperate after a match. No, when people talk about men, I say don't don't forget about Bjorn Borg, right? And then also don't forget about Rod Laver, because Rod Laver never heard of him. Well, I'm gonna, um, if I may, Rod Laver in the early '60s, right? I believe it was, uh, yeah, won the single season Grand Slam. He won all four, right? And then he decided to go off, and they called him the the barn burner generation because that was back when you could only win all the majors were amateurs like like bobby jones you know right and uh so he left to go be professional and lost like six or seven years of the prime of his life and still won 11 and two and by the way when he came back and professionals were allowed he he won the single season slam again he did it twice (laughs) <laughs> so you can't leave Laver out, right? And then Bjorn Borg won 11 as well, and he retired at like 25. I don't even, you'd have to look it up. I mean, he was in his mid 20s so when he retired. He was, you know, basically he wasn't number one in the world anymore. John Rhett McEnroe beat him like two times, and he said, "Fuck it, I quit." Damn. Yeah. You know, really in his earlier mid mid twenties or something like that. You know what I mean? So you can't yeah. you can't not talk about labor. You can't not talk about Borg. These are guys that, for one reason or another, you know, Borg quit in the prime of his life, and Laver lost the prime. Of, you know what I mean? And still came back and won another single season slam, all four of them. You know, and finished so when you when 11. you say. All the all the Grand Slams were amateur, but what was pro? Just like paid tour or something like that. Yeah, they established those. There was a few guys, like you know, ten or twelve guys, whatever that that went out and established the pro tour. 
you know, they would go from town to town just and, and, and entertain people and play. And, you know, eventually it came to be, you know, they spent that sort of decade. Like I said, he lost about six or seven years, almost a decade, you know. And then they finally accepted professional tennis players, same as same as it was for golf. You remember, like, you know, uh, Walter Hagen, who knows, who knows, right? Um because he didn't have the opportunity to play in in the in the amateur tournaments, you know. Um, so he's another one. Like that's golf. And they were right? all but that's open golf, style, that's... right? No, well that's just it. That was so that's that's just it. It was amateur, and it was before it was open. So when it came back, when labor came back, it was open to pros. That's what that you know, open to everyone, you know. So yeah. and he came back and he did it again. Like I said, he came back in in one of the first two years he was back. I believe he won all four in the in the single season. He's the only male that's ever done that. I don't know if any females have. Um, and he did it twice. So you got to talk about Rod Laver and the years that he lost. You know, you have to do that. You can't leave him out of that conver- You can't leave him out of the goat conversation. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you think about that for a second. You know, so we fucked off for a little while. He pioneered well, the pro tour. Yeah, he right? pioneered the pro tour. I mean, that's <laughs> he lost six or seven years, so you know. But uh, yeah, that's that's that man. And then, like I said, Borg retired the second that he wasn't number one in the world anymore. Which is, I, he was in his mid twenties, I believe. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, you know, you got to consider that he probably would have won some more too. You know. Um, so it's, uh, but again, that's back McEnroe, Borg, that's flavor. That's all, again, very different equipment. That's wooden. You're getting back to wooden rackets and shit now. You know what I mean? So. What are they made out of now? Fiberglass? Mm, I believe now they make them sort of out of like, uh, it depends like on, the ra- on the racket, but uh, there's probably some carbon fiber, graphite. Yeah. Yeah. And the strings are all. That, that's they? another thing that's changed hugely from back then. They used to be made out of all gut, literally dried gut, you know, um, like pig gut or whatever it was, you know. Uh, Leather. No, you know, gut, literally. Uh, but I digress, gotcha. like the sinew, the sin, right. And um, n- now there's like a polyurethane string that they make. And some do pure. Most nowadays, I think, do all poly. Federer does a poly gut mix, I believe. Uh, that just goes to show you, when he came out, it was still all gut. You know what I mean? He went through yeah. that era where rackets were changing, strings were changing, the court surfaces were getting slower or faster, depending on which. Sur- you know what I mean? Like, have the balls ever changed? Yep. They change the balls often, and they'll talk about that sometimes from from a single tournament from year to year. They'll say, uh, the balls are heavier this year. You know, they went with heavier balls this year. Um, you know, so yeah, I mean, that's not like the balls' balls are different. The, the, the only big difference between the balls, other than weight, right, is that they used to be white. Tennis balls used to be all white, uh, and now they're obviously that neon yellowish green or whatever. Um, oh, it makes sense. It's easier to see, right? Well, right. You back think. then, there's another thing, by the way. Back then, right, when, like, McEnroe played, when Borg played, and certainly when Labor played, you know how I just said Federer's best service is grass, and grass was wicked fast back then, you know? Yeah. Uh, well... The Australian Open and the U.S. Open, which are now hardcore tournaments, this was before hardcore. Everything was either grass or clay back then. There was very few hardcore tournaments back when. And what's hardcore pavement? Yeah, it's like uh. Now you're now you're like like the shit you see at the damn club. You're fucking drilling the me. Clubhouse. Now, right? <laughs> You know, uh... No, no, it's like the shit you eat when you go down to the local clubhouse and they got a fucking tennis court in the back. That's pavement. Or it's not necessarily pavement. It's something. It's like epoxy or some shit You know like what? That, right? I'm, I'll look it up. I think it's... And, and by the way, a lot of people are deceived by what it is. So, like... Because they'll, they'll put grain in it. 
so there's different types of hardcore. It's not just in color, by the way, but like they'll intentionally put a lot of grain in some of them. You know, like they'll score it. And I know you're familiar with scoring, you know, because you, you yeah. do tire work, right? They'll yeah, score yeah, yeah. they'll score them where you hit the balls, so so that it get you know you get it grabs more, grip. It gets higher, a little right? more grip. It's, it's a yeah, slower, so, it's it's not... a sl- sl- so there's faster courts that are more like a. Uh, think of it more like a. Um... Well, it's not just a ball. You bust your ass. Which well, no. Well, right. Right. think about the faster courts that they play as sort of like a very mild sandpaper. You know, okay. texture maybe gotcha. uh, and then the they make the, the the slower grittier like you know where they score the court you know the slower hard courts as well so yeah I mean it's gotcha. all there's a lot of differences there's nuance everywhere you know um, and like I said Federer when Federer first came out it was all everybody served and volleyed it was that Pete Sampras era you know and then, you know, Leighton Hewitt and a couple guys got really good along with Agassi at, at, at uh, ha- hanging back. And then they started to change the surfaces that the faster surfaces became slower and the slower surfaces became a little faster. And they all homogenized more over time. And part of that was because Federer was so good, to be perfectly honest. And that gave Nadal, for sure, the slower courts that bounce higher with that uh, top spin forehand against Federer's one-handed backhand was a big deal. <laughs> so the more they homogenized all the courts, right, and made them like one speed, or you know, close to one speed anyway, you still get different bounces because clay still grabs and bounces higher, and then the grittier hard courts, you know, uh, grass tends to stay lower, obviously a little more skid, you know, um, and faster hard courts, you know. So, he literally, that's what I always say to people, he played through three different, totally different styles of generational tennis, <laughs> which is remarkable, and was the best at all of them. <laughs> out, out, you know. <laughs> and, and as they changed, and they changed it so much, you know. And then, again, without Clay, and he was great on Clay. He would have won, he won... He's won uh, 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 plenty of clay tournaments, by the way. And he would have won, I, I venture to guess, at least four would be my guess. At least four uh, French Opens if he didn't have to play Nadal every year. So, do what you will so with that. So, with the clay Grand Slams, it's the French Open? Yeah, it's just the French. Well, That's it. Just so, the French. So, there's two hard courts now. Used to be... U.S. Th- Open. Used to be three of them were grass. And one of them was clay. It used to be the Australian Open was grass. Uh, and Wimbledon and the U.S. Open were all grass. And then the French Open's always been clay. Then Australia and the U.S. Open, they're hard court tournaments. They have been for a long time. Even the Sampras era, they were hard court tournaments. Yeah, I don't ever remember the U.S. Open being hard court or grass. Uh, right. I've right, always known it to right. be hard court. You got to go back to the, like the '70s for that, right? The blue, the, the right. blue fucking color and all that shit. Right. So, so the so yeah. So then the Australian Open. So there's two hard courts, you know, uh, a grass and, you know, there's the French Open, which is clay. But again, it's 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 inconvenient because of how good Nadal is on clay and the fact that as I told you before and you'll hear other players complain about this by the way too is you start hard courts right and you do that through like Miami okay and then you start the clay court season and then you jump right into grass and you only get three grass tournaments right Uh, and then you actually jump back into clay before you start the hard court season again Leading up to the U.S. Open, so you know there's a there's a half at least fully half of the tournaments they play it have to be clay. What's day. the Palisades out here? I don't. Know. Is it hardcore? Grass? Palisades. I, I'm. What do you mean? In North Carolina. So I uh, so they have a tournament there for the women. I don't know about the men, and it's. Oh, it's just for women. So right. it's green clay is what it is. But Ooh. and let me be really clear on how different that is. It's basically like cement 
and like a really gritty green sand. Like hard uh, clay. I've, I've played on it before. Yeah, it's not like the the crushed brick clay that they play in Europe. It's very different. It's a very different surface, green clay. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Yeah, that that tournament's called the Palisades. Yeah, it's they, closer. They're out here all the time. Close, you hear about it. Closer to a hard court, really, to be perfectly like gotcha. a really gritty hard court, to be honest. Yeah. So. And there's a fucking full-blown tennis education for anyone who is actually listening here tonight, huh? So when you play your video games, is there differences between the courts? Absolutely. I've noticed. Absolutely. I was playing because be, – and, and it's so noticeable because the French Open and then the next major is Wimbledon, you know? So you get onto the grass, and the ball bounces so high on the clay, and the ball stays so low on the grass, you know? Absolutely. So if Nadal goes out there and wins Wimbledon this year, then what? Then what? What? I mean, I always look at it like this, man. I say, every two in a row. Won't it? This is how I. No, three. He won. Also, he won in Australia. Uh -oh. He'll have a chance at a single season slam, um, if if he wins the U.S. Open. So has he ever won the U.S. Open? Yeah, he's won. I told uh -huh. you he's got two Australians, two U.S. Opens, two Wimbledons. And uh, everything else is... The rest of friends. He's won the French every year since he's been born. Yeah, everything else is the fucking <laughs> French Open. Yeah, man. Uh, something like that, anyway, yeah. It might Jesus. be... It might be more... Imagine just be being more, gifted the French Open every year. I did, it's a joke. 14 times. I mean, that's... <laughs> look, people didn't think that anyone would ever pass Pete Sampras' record at 14 slams, right? And then six... Literally five or six years later, Roger had already passed Pete. Now, Nadal has literally won 14, which is what Pete finished at, in one tournament. That's how <laughs> dominant he is on that. That's, how, that's what, I'm, that's what I tr always try to tell people. If you're going to have a conversation, I'll have a conversation with you, you know? But neither of them played through three totally different eras of tennis, right? Which he did which is kind of crazy to think about, you know, because it changed so quickly. But those were very distinctly different as the courts became more homogenized speed-wise. Um, you know, and the style of tennis changed from pure serve and volley, which is what he started at, you know, to what it is. Uh, and then back What's around... What's the difference? Serve and volley versus what it is today. So... Actually, I think today is the most well-rounded tennis, and it's because of those guys. Because of those, how good those three guys are, you'll find the most well-rounded tennis today. What's serve and volley mean? Serve and volley is when you serve the ball and you rush the net immediately. Okay. Um, I guess so. Right. Like so, even if the it's basically at you know it's distracting. Because uh, you're you, in, out of the corner of your eye, you surely see the person running straight to the net, you know. And then uh, at the same time, you have to gather yourself as this person's running, and you got to sort of like pick a side that you know. And you got to return a hundred mile an hour. And then and then the you got to return the serve, and then get it past the person who's charging the net, right? But that's the thing; they charge the net, you know, a really good ball striker which most of them are, I mean, you leave a good open pass. And, and now that the courts, as I said before, right, this is what, uh, again, and I'm going to emphasize this, when Roger first came out, everybody was basically a serve and volleyer uh, because all the, you know, other than clay, other than the French Open and clay, all the, the courts were very fast, right? So everybody served and volleyed, with the exception of maybe Andre Agassi. Um, and he did it too. You know, just not as much as, like, a Pete Sampras because he didn't have as big a serve. But, uh, so, yeah, they'd serve, they'd rush the net, you know, and you got to hit a good passing shot. You know, you got to find the gap and hit it past them. So, <clears throat> now, I, I would say, and so then, like, late in Hewitt, there was always players that were so good off the ground, like Bjorn Borg, right? He was the antithesis to that because McEnroe was a pure serve and volleyer, and that was his nemesis you know and that guy ha hung back you know um it's just a great pat you know great great ground strokes and he could pass you very easily very accurate 
passing shots. And um, nowadays, it's sort of, like I said, and, and a lot of it's Federer changing things. Like, there was Leighton Hewitt, which hung back, like, kind of a born Bjorg. Uh, and then also, you know, um, it just sort of changed that way. Leighton Hewitt did it. He was winning a lot. He was number one in the world for half a minute. And then Roddick. Was so you just serve and you stay back. You serve, and, you know, if you, I mean, you, you obviously, you're supposed to get a lot of free points off your serve. Like, you know, what they teach too much in American tennis because Sampras did it so well was a big serve, a big accurate serve, and a big forehand. You know, basically like a one-two punch, and then you should have control of the point if you haven't won it already, you know. Um, that's serve and volleying, essentially, you know. Uh, so, yeah, but, I mean, they... That's more because they're slower because all the you know the the courts are much slower than they used to be as far as hard courts and grass right uh, and because they sped up clay quite a bit and homogenized it you'll see you know there's not you know yeah that's basically what it is it's it's basically you serve and then whatever you're comfortable with Roger Federer is amazing to me. The thing about Roger Federer that people don't, I, I notice all the time that I guess if you're an athlete, you know, you have to, maybe you have to be an athlete to notice, but like he'll hit these like sort of half volleys is what you call them. Cause he'll be standing like sort of center court, you know, and mm -hmm. Nadal ripped like a hundred mile an hour shot at him and he will hit it at his shoelaces for power and accuracy and like hit a winner it's it he does this regularly you know the balls that don't even get up to his knees you know what i mean and yeah. people just don't have hands like he's the the hands you know he's got such great hands that he has to do that he plays a more aggressive brand of tennis like nadal and djokovic hang back like you just said they serve the ball they hang back behind the baseline and they wear you out is what they do that's that's yeah. like you know they don't make mistakes they just wear you out you know they're happy to get into a 50 shot rally with you until one of you makes a mistake or hits a winner you know they're happy to do that you know you're gonna get more tired than they are that's how i looked at it they're gonna hit more balls back in play federer has always been more aggressive and so he kind of stands up on the baseline he doesn't give up that real estate but you got to have the hands to do that. And I, I, if you I, I implore you to watch some, like, if you have ESPN, I don't know if you got like a Disney thing, whatever. If you have ESPN, the Disney package or whatever, and you can watch ESPN Plus, watch some of the, like, old Federer matches. They have them there. Watch how many times, like, you might see somebody do that, like, once a year, twice a year. Somebody, like, random, you know what I mean? Even somebody, like, as good as the dollar Djokovic, you might see them do that, like, two, three times a year where they'll take a ball, you know, that doesn't, like, even bounce, really. You know what I mean? Federer does this, like, three times a match, at least. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does these impossible things where he, these, these, like, half volleys where these balls don't get up past his ankle and he's hitting them for winners. Um, he's just special. And he makes it look graceful. He just kind of looks like he floats along the court, you know. It's, uh... For me, it'll always be, I think it'll always be Federer. There is an exciting kid coming up right now, though, um, who's sort of like, scared, like, frighteningly, he's sort of like an amalgamation of all three of them. Like, he's, he can play really defensive tennis like Djokovic and Nadal, but he's also got great touch and great hands. He's got a great drop shot. He's, um, he's special. Uh, this kid's a Spanish kid. His name is Carlos Alcaraz, and I think he's going to be, Real special. I'll just say that right now, you know. Maybe if these other guys retire. Like, no, he doesn't need them to retire. In Madrid... Just beat him, in, beat him in, down in, and beat in, him in, away. In Madrid, he beat Nadal in the semifinals and Djokovic in the finals to win the tournament. <laughs> Nobody had ever done that, by the way. He's the first person that's ever done that on clay. He did that this year. Nadal, he, he dispatched of Nadal in the semis, and he beat Djokovic in the finals. Nobody's ever beat him back-to-back -back like that on clay. Uh, he's the first one. He won the tournament. He's special. I'm not, I, when I, I don't say that. You know, I, I don't just walk around saying that shit. Like, people say, this guy, that guy all the time, you know? And I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know. 
and then so I heard the name a few times, and I was like, I better watch. Well, I've heard this enough now. This is I, I got to see this. You know what I mean? And I was fully expecting to be disappointed, like I always am, you know. And I watched him, and I watched him play that tournament specifically again, you know. And I was like, floored. This and he's only got up to go, because he's got such great hands already, like Federer. Feder almost literally all Federer esque hands already, and a big serve, which is only should only get better. You know, he's got a big. He can hit it up to 140 miles an hour, and when he learns to place the plate, you know, place that better. You know what I mean? Start hitting spots better. That's going to be scary. Uh, the scariest thing is he's got room for improvement, and he's already beaten guys, you know, legends. So. He's the first person that's come along that I've actually... All right, let me take a look at this. He's special. He's different. He's just different. Can he win 22, though? Or, as you I mean, say, well, you 24 know, because Federer's got a handful more in him. I don't, you know... And, by the way, I mean, Nadal could very very possibly end this season with 24. If he wins Wimbledon and the U.S. Open, he'll, he'll finish at 24. So he's he ain't going to do that. He's at 22 right now. but He ain't going to do that. I mean, can he, can, he, can he win? I don't know, man. You know what I mean? I, you know, I just don't. I mean. I mean, are they going to let Djokovic play? No, he, he's not allowed to play in the U.S. Open. Just like the Australian Why? Because Open. Because he's, he's not got he's, the vaccination. Yeah. The vaccination? Yep. Are you serious? I swear to God. So he can't play in the U.S. Open. But swear Wimbledon's God. fine. He, he'll so play in Wimbledon? Apparently, Europe, the European countries don't care. Um, you know. Only Australia and America. Yep. I guess they got to take a stand somewhere. Draw a so, line somewhere, I guess. You know. That makes no sense. Yeah, is what it is. There's but something these guys are going peak. on. There's definitely something going on this Fitness. year with Wimbledon. I, I, I forget they said, like... They weren't giving world ranking points or something, because uh, something I, I don't remember what happened to Russians or Belarusians. Oh, gotcha. I had something weird. There's something weird going on there. I know a bunch Belarus of Belarus and Russia. Yeah, because of what's going on with the conflict. There's something very odd. Sort of going like on. the Olympics, where you, okay, you could play, but you know what? You don't fucking you're not recognized. Because at at the French Open, they didn't allow them to have their flags or or you know or next to their names. It's like been like that for do. the Olympics for quite some time. But right? I just watched. There was a Belarusian girl that played yesterday against um, Radakanu, and her flag was up, and it said Belarusian. I, so I don't know. I heard something about world ranking points. I know a bunch of people aren't there. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if they followed. You know, I don't know. I'd have to look at. You know, I'm just. I mean, it's still gonna be a good draw, right? Bro, I'd, you're still gonna play. Those guys don't play for world ranking points or really they play money. play for fucking bragging rights. Right, right, right. Especially like guys like trophy. Nadal. Especially guys like Nadal, Djokovic. They play for the trophy. They play for the, the win. It's still winning Wimbledon. You know, that's what they play for. Right. They certainly don't need money. Um... And all three of their they legacies. They certainly don't need to be called right, number one. I was going to say, all three of their legacies are firmly cemented. cemented. I mean, they don't yeah. need any. Yeah, right. I mean, so. They play for, for, for the for the trophy. They play for the win. Yeah. Well, in the, the Dolls case, it's not cement. It's clay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, bro, it's, 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 it's so odd how it's much. It's bacon. How much clay they play every year too, and and that he's not won more. Like more is is really a, well. Maybe know, it's right. just the French Open. He he he. You know, that place fits him. Like I think, no, it's clay. But the but the French Open's extra special. You know, they crush it even finer there. It is different clay. It's that clay is different from anywhere else in the world because it's a major. You know, they they make that extra fine. You know, for sure. It's definitely different, but uh, he's great on clay everywhere. That's that's just the reality of it. But I think I think Djokovic has more overall tournament wins than him. I believe. I know Federer does because Federer is second, only to Connors, which he wants to get to that 109. He's at 104. Um, but yeah, like he's just trying to talk about it. He was just taking like, a year in, off, in the getting 80s, his body together. You know, I think he's only one. Like, I mean, it's not. 
not, it's nothing to scoff at, obviously. It's a tremendous feat, but, you know, you would just think more. But, you know, again, he on the other surfaces, right, those two, you know, He's always, uh, Federer's always had a tough time with the doll, but that is, like I said, when he came back in 2017, he, he hadn't really lost so much since then, except for at the French Open. So, um, their head to head's gotten better. But again, they all, both of them caught him after he aged, and they were still, you know, young, younglings. So, <laughs> so it's, it's a, you know, whatever, you, however you want to look at it. Uh, you, you know, my, I've made my, uh, opinion and my my feelings on the matter clear, I think, right? <clears throat> he also makes it look yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, this is the thing you see right now. The dog can point to the scoreboard. Well, I'd always look at that as odd because what scoreboard? I don't think strictly majors is is. I know people love to do that, right? With Tiger and Jack, you know, Tiger's also won eighty two times. He's tied Sam Snead. He's got. He's tied for the most tournament wins of all time. and uh, He he's may got 15, get another one. And he's got 15, 15 majors, you know. But what people don't realize is Jack also won 78 tournaments or something like that, and, mm -hmm. and, and 18 majors. So it's like, you know, that's, uh, that's a fair debate. Jack had better can, competition. Uh, he did. He had guys that would run him down and absolutely, yeah, I mean. Uh, the number of second place finishes that, that, that Jack has is what you look at as whoa what the fuck you know look at how yeah. many he could have won and that's disgusting <laughs> 23 i believe the number is like 23 times he finished second place or in the top three yeah right you can yeah. you can make the argument for phil he could have been great if not for tiger Phil is great phil well Phil's what i'm saying is majors, bro. I mean, if, if there's no such thing as tiger phil may, might have won more to, I see. I disagree with that. I I, I really do, and I, I disagree with that because Phil and Ti and I've said we talked about this before. Phil and Tiger really never played Great in together. majors at the same time. Well, yeah. When Phil was winning, Tiger was like not relevant in the tournament, and when Tiger very rarely was ever a two thousand and one Masters where all f the top four players in the world were all there. And he was trying to complete that Tiger Slam thing. That was an amazing tournament, the 2001 Masters. Duvall was there. You know, he was number two play I number two player in the world at the time. Phil, Mi Phil Mickelson was right there. Ernie Els was in the hunt. VJ Singh was in the hunt. All the, f like, five best players in the world were, were competing in that, in that uh, particular Masters. That was a great tournament. <clears throat> so... But yeah, I, I don't think so. Because again, never, very rarely, if ever, at the same time in a major. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. But Phil just finished second to everybody else. Phil was in his own way for a, a while. <laughs> you know, he, he didn't. <laughs> he win. still is. He didn't win his first major until he was 34. I mean, you know, even Tiger Woods. If you watch that Tiger Woods documentary, you know. Tiger Woods and his mom, they they say they call him uh, what they call him Hefty, you know everybody likes to call him Lefty, but because yeah. they they call him like a fat ass, they call him Hefty, Hefty. Yeah. And he goes, you know, and they they, they were always really nasty, like you know, uh, all the talent in the world, and he doesn't, you know, work at it. You know, he wins nothing, you know. Uh, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't work at it. He just he shows basic, up. He basically openly states that he. That he thinks that that Phil is more talented than he is, you know. Uh, he just shows up. Phil just shows the fuck up. He did. It doesn't work out. He doesn't no, whatever, fucking do. He gambles. Yeah. He gambles when he's not playing golf, and when he's playing golf, he just shows up for Look, the bro, I'm just Tuesday. I'm just telling you. You asked me, right? He's. he's if, you, you said you John said Daly. If, you would said not John Daly. If Tiger wasn't there. You know, and I'm just clarifying that no, I don't think that. Yeah, well, yeah, now I realize that you no. know, Phil you lost know, everybody else. You know Phil lost who? Himself a lot. You know who Tiger destroyed? Like really, just you know, like you know, who would have been 
one of the all-time great Hall of Famers. Is a Hall of Famer, but would have been way the fuck up there. Sergio? Nope. You know who was neck and neck with Tiger a lot? Ernie Els. Ernie Els. Tiger was constantly beating Ernie Els for big tournaments. <laughs> constantly. Uh, <laughs> if he destroyed anybody, it was Ernie Els. No joke. Flat out. That's it. So. Yeah, man. What's that? Phil's Golf's gotten demon. boring, by the way. Phil's his own demon. There's more, they're, well, they're all rats. Desert, uh, sinking ship. They just, keep, <laughs> they just keep flooding into that live golf tour. Mm. They want cash. More power to them, bro. I don't care. I mean, you know, that's, that's all. They that, want man. cash, you know. You know. I'm just telling you. That's, uh, the, and the every, PGA Tour's threatened to ban. They did. They're not threatening filling. anymore. They're not threatening oh, no. anymore. They said if you play, you're banned. Jesus. And so they're they're they drew a, and that's pretty ballsy to draw a line in the sand like that. You know. That's yeah, pretty, especially yeah. for someone like Justin Johnson and fucking what's that new kid? What's his name? Bryson DeChambeau. F- Bryson DeChambeau. I mean, yeah. by the way, you saw what he did at Bay Hill. Nah. I, I've had a hard time watching golf, bro. You know, I mean... What's the par five? Where you could draw it over the water? No, he didn't green? drive that. No. He he did. No, he didn't. But he gave himself a flop. Okay. He gave himself a pitch shot. Okay. <laughs> he, right. he missed the green both times, but I've seen he, drove, okay. he drove it. That's fine. Because I've seen Bubba Watson, you know. Yeah. He did that, it but... two days in a row. Uh... He missed a green to the right both times. I but mean, he can't, I mean if he would have took it. aim, he would have easily got it. That's, that's easily. Not, I mean, he would have easily got it. Yeah, but he missed it to the right both times. Long. He didn't miss it short. He missed it long. Right. So, and people were like, "No fucking way, dude." But he had it if he would have been more accurate. And he told himself too. He's like, "Fuck, I could have made that," you know. I, I could, but he said he kept ba- he bailed basically to the right. But he gave himself a fucking pitch from fucking less than a hundred yards both times. But eh. yeah, but he I'll, amped up to get the crowd going. Uh, that that's my that's my two cents. You know, well, what do I know? I'm just me. You know what I mean? The fuck do I know? I'm just me. But you know. If if there was one person the tiger is responsible for really ruining it's it's Ernie Els. Uh, <clears throat> that's the one. Um, Phil, no, just no. They really again. As far as Phil goes with that live golf, Phil's done anyways. I mean, I mean he's he's done. I mean, if there's another tournament he could win, it would be Augusta, and that would be it. So he's done everywhere else. I just don't get. Whatever. I mean, I understand some. I'd have to look at contracts. You know, you know me. I'd have to really have a good look at. It. I've heard the stories. Dude, you know what it is? They make more money off their tennis shoes and their clubs than they do on the tour. No. And well, then this no, live golf no, that no, no, changes no, 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 that. No, it doesn't. I mean, look, it's the same thing. They're paying them to appear. It's an appearance. It's not, not right, much. Yeah. They already. It's not much different from a sponsorship. But I mean, it, I just for me, it's it's I, I I would need to see what's up with the PGA Tour. Like, what I mean, I've heard I told. Remember the thing I told you, right? So I've heard a couple of things, you know. Uh. But for so many to want to leave, you know. Um, this is what I've under to understand. You see how Phil just played in the U.S. Open, right? No, well, I didn't watch. No. And he absolutely just missed the cut, right? He shot eight under, eight over par. Okay. Right? It's, he went home. Well, that was, a, it was a hard, for, for once, for the first time in a really long time, it was actually a reasonably hard U.S. Open. Yeah, but listen, did he get paid for that? What do you mean? Take the sponsors out. Take his shoes and his clubs and his no. hat. No. Did he get paid for that? No. Live Golf says, oh, well, all you got to do is show up. 
Right. And you're guaranteed so, part of the purse. So the PGA Tour is really going to get fucked in the ass, no lube. And I'm part of my language, and I'm really sorry for saying that on here. Uh, I try to keep it whatever, but I'm going to tell you right now. The, the, the players are independent contractors. So for them to put bans on them for in you know for playing wherever as independent contractors they don't own them that's they're going to lose that if that goes if that's like a court battle you know what i mean they're going to lose so that's not good right the PGA tour doesn't own these tournaments neither do they they just own the the rights to the tour no right? but, the, the but FedEx no, they don't that. own the tournaments but that's part of what uh the complaint is because it's like say like they'll make Forty billion dollars a year on these tournaments, you know, and it's not like the guys. I guess the guys win what, like one point five if they win a tournament, one point five million. And half of them go home and don't get paid. Right, that's for a win. So I, I mean, tennis players are getting paid when they win majors. I know they get paid like four or five million dollars when they win, you know, and. uh yeah, but that's yeah. not comparable because tennis players absolutely destroy their bodies. Uh, I mean, I've destroyed my body. I mean, it is, it is <laughs> a harder sport to play. I, uh, it, you know, golf is in your head, right? I've destroyed my body. I, mean, I, I destroyed you my body. You can destroy your body directly. playing golf. You can. But basically, you're not, so. you know. Could you see fat ass Phil Mickelson playing a tennis tournament? No, but that's the point. I mean, you know, okay, so Phil Mickelson can't, but the point I did. But everybody I fucking plays golf. I did destroy my body playing golf, so I, I don't Yeah, I don't but you hear overexerted that. yourself, you know. You, you you went too far. The Tiger Woods went too far, you know. People go too far. Well, okay, you but, push the, but, yourself. but I guess the point, you said you can't, and then I, and I'm, I'm saying No, but what here, I'm saying is, you know, you know, when you're playing tennis, you when you're done playing tennis, you're spent, right? Your your body is spent, right? I Especially you, if you go think, all the way and I, win the look, tournament. I'm 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 gonna stop this right here. I'm not even gonna let you go further because when a lot of these great players have retired, they they need knee replacements, hip replacements. Jack has had hip, you know. Uh, golf is not. Yeah, gentle. but these are great players. These are players who get in the rough and absolutely twist themselves into a pretzel sure, trying to like, get out of it. Sure, like me, but that's not the, the point is, you, you know, you're saying you can't do something. I'm telling you, golf is not as... No, wait, I mean, the, just the analogy watch, is this. Just watch slow tennis motion. Players, all I, tennis all players, all I will implore you is to more. watch in slow motion, right, uh, someone hitting an iron shot and watch how the like their body, the whole body ripples. It's like a little car accident. I mean, every single time. So I, I beg to differ on that golf is like a gentle sport. I mean, yeah. No, it's not. Do I but think tennis, tennis players deserve do I more think, money? Do I think tennis is uh, way more, uh, much harder on your? Yes, I do think tennis is probably much harder on your body. That's why they get paid more. Right. That's that's what I'm trying to say. That's why they get paid more. I, I don't think that that it has to do with that it's more global for starters. Well, that's why they should get paid for, more. For starters, it's much more global, which helps. You know, they play all over the, the world. And yeah. most of the tournaments, if good tournaments in golf are here. And that's it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of reasons, truly. Um, but again... That's their complaint. It's not about. It's not even about that they're not making money because the PGA Tour is. <laughs> you know. That's that's the problem that they have. They're not just making money. They're making money off their likeness, and they're not allowed to make money off their likeness. They own their. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's done. Right. They're making it, money we, we off the about, clubs they right, use. We talked about that, you and I, and I didn't know that that was a thing. And when I found out that that was a thing, I totally understood leaving and fuck. Uh, you know, fuck you guys. Absolutely fuck you guys. That anything that happens on the PGA Tour, whether it's your likeness or not, you haven't signed the rights away to it or not. They own it, it and that's they make money off of it, and you're fucked. You have no and then Live Tour, you're guaranteed part of the purse. Even though that's your fuck. Like, you could win the Masters, or, or, or let's not say the Masters, because the Masters, whatever. But let's say you win the PGA, because like, that's the 
PJ PGA PJ Tour, okay. You know, they could play that classic PGA Tour win a thousand times on television and sell videotapes and make money and all this and that and the other thing and you don't see a dime of that. No, the best you can hope for is that fucking Titleist picks you up. You get your. It says, "Hey, we like you." Here's well, that was a couple the thing. Grand that was the thing that I heard Phil say. I had no, I had no idea that that was like that. It's just like the NCAA for all these years. Thank God that's finally starting to change. Making money off off of athletes that you know, uh, that's just terrible. Uh, you know. Right. And granted, there have uh, golfers make good livings. Don't get it twisted, but. The disparity is ridiculous. I heard something like, like I said, the amount that the PJ Tour is profiting versus right what the what the guys. Well, it's are the making. same with the college analogy. They they get a free education, yeah. high end education way, too, but the disparity that they is actually don't way off. That's the problem. It's they really weighted. don't because they have to spend so much time practicing. They're not really, you know. They can, if they choose. There are plenty of rogue I mean, scholars they, out uh, there. They that's a scholarship for education though Danny that's not an athletic yeah. scholarship yeah but what I'm saying there are plenty of smart guys out there you know and you got to be really smart to, to, to put all the time you need to put into working out and playing a, a sport at the college level okay and in class and graduate college you know and retain the knowledge right that's, and feed uh, that's, yourself uh, that's tough yeah that's not um, you feed yourself and right. That's, that's clothe not, yourself. That's, they 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 used to love to say that they get an education. Well, they really don't though. I mean, it's it's kind of you know they're never in <laughs> most class of them leave early. They can't right? They can't. They I mean, most of their time is spent on the sport, so they really the education is minimal. You know, so, uh, they have access to potentially get a good education. Here's the kicker though. If they start going in the direction of a good education and they can't make practice, you know, then they'll just kick you off the team. There goes your scholarship. Yeah. Now you're not getting school or uh the opportunity to pro. You know what I mean? So yeah. you right. It, the the NCAA is evil. <laughs> That's yeah. as close as evil as you'll ever hear me talk about, so That's that. But what do I know? I'm just me. You know. But yeah, there you go. Live Tour says, I guarantee you money. Come play for me. Come play for us. A lot of money at that. A lot of money. What was it? Four million dollar purses? A, pr a top prize? Bro, I, I don't know what the top for prize like was. For like a random it's, tournament it's, it's, in the middle of it's, no it's, fucking it's, nowhere? It's the amount of money that they were paying them just to pull them in. Two hundred million dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. One hundred thirty million dollars. Right. I mean, you know, that's better than a good year for Tiger Woods, by the way, in his prime. Right. Would make like ninety <laughs> right. ninety million dollars. You know, something like that in sponsorships and and on, and on course earnings and and all that shit. You're, you're talking about, you know, Dustin Johnson just made more money than Tiger Woods' best year. And he hadn't played a tournament. And he's not not nothing against us and Johnson, but he's not fucking Tiger Woods, guys. You know. No. <laughs> so that's enough said, right? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you can't blame him. Uh -uh. And if the PGA Tour wants to ban him, you say, well, fuck off. No, nah, like I, said, I guess I'm really not on the tour it's, anymore. It's then, really huh? stupid that you they want did my this. Card? Uh, we talked about this. It's really fucking dumb that they did it too because. They're independent. They, they make. They know that that they. You always hear they're independent contractors. You cannot tell somebody you're not allowed to do this. You know what I mean? Like, uh, as independent contractor, they're gonna go and play wherever they want. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's not. Well, I guess you could say, well, you don't get points, or. I mean, they're treating it like. A, you know, a bit like the military industrial complex. Now, that's one thing that's entirely different, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could say, like, oh, I'm a contractor, whatever. You say, well, you know, and you're working for Lockheed Martin, then you can't, like, go and work for Russians. You know what I mean? You're not going to go yeah. and, like, right. That, then they can tell you. But, you know, that's totally different. You've signed a, a non compete clause at that point. And,. They don't make them sign non-compete clauses. They probably are going to start doing that now. But 
in the interim, you would have to also then cease calling it independent contractor. And also, you're going to have to pay them a shit ton more fucking money if you want them to sign up with a non-compete clause. So they're, they're, they're boned. The PGA Tour is boned either way, in my opinion. But what do I know? I'm just. It's saying. been getting boring lately. It's it, the, the guys the, that are winning are nobodies, and they only they're win that one tournament, and they they fucking slink away into nothingness. That's the way it was for a long time, I and mean, you know, uh, the greatness comes in waves. You know. Um, I mean, what's the guy who won? Who was winning every fucking tournament a couple years ago? Who is he now? Does he even play anymore? I think he does, but does he make cuts? Maybe. Uh, which one? <laughs> The fucking guy won all them tournaments. Which right one? after um, Jordan Spieth won the Masters. And then this guy popped up out of nowhere and started winning fucking U.S. Opens back to back. Oh, Brooks Kepka. Kepka. He's been, he at? he's been injured. And he signed with Live Golf, by the way. Good for him. Yeah. So. I might watch their next tournament. Indeed. So yeah, I wonder what um the Chinese guy is gonna do. What Chinese? What? what, what Ch- Not Chinese. Uh, uh, Japanese. Is he Japanese? Oh, Hideki Matsuyama. Matsuyama. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. We'll, I mean, you know, they're I, like I fucking know. loyalists. It's gonna get. You know it's I mean? gonna get weird, bro. It's just gonna get. You really might be weird. like, well, fuck. There's more majors for me. Ma- right. That's what's gonna get weird. Is uh, majors. It's gonna get really, really weird around the majors because, you know. You're going to uh, have we'll spit. Uh, What's we'll his name? What fucking. Happens. Yeah. We'll just see what happens. I say, that I boy say, like fucking I said, I think winning they're boned. majors they're, again. They're super boned. I really do. Uh, I think they're boned really badly. Reed? Patrick Reed? <laughs> Patrick Reed, yeah. Patrick Reed winning yeah. the major. There you go. Bringing it home. I can't believe. Or the he... guy with the polo draws hanging out. Can't believe. All over the fucking he... place. What's can't his name? can't believe he snatched that from Ricky Fowler, that Masters. That's <laughs> terrible. What's the guy who spits all the fucking time? And you, you could see his underwear? Uh, I, don't, his I don't know. I mean, spits all the time. I have no he's fucking, fucking constantly spitting. He's pulling his pants up. No clue. He wears Ralph Lauren underwear. Uh, you you <laughs> can keep describing it. It's not helping. I, have no fucking I don't fucking know. Right, exactly. Yeah. He fucking was in a major once. Fucking. Or the kid who fucking backs off it and comes up and backs off it. Nah. Kevin Nah. Oh, he Jesus signed Christ. with Liv Goff, by the way. Oh fuck. Well, yeah. good for him. Kevin Nah. <laughs> is, is well, he wasn't him. nothing on the tour, so. I mean, he was solid. Just he's got so much head shit going on. I, you know. <laughs> Who the fuck knows about him? But... All right, I gotta go to bed. I stayed up you talking to you. You needed to go to bed a long ago. ago. Yay, bro! Yeah. You you engaged in 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 open debate about tennis and I golf like with sports. Me. I like sports too. You want to talk about tennis and golf? These are my two, these are my two favorite things. You know, like I like uh, golf. Uh, I don't know gonna, much about. You're tennis. gonna get a lot. You know, your fault, bro. And then when we were yeah, done yeah. with, when we were done with tennis, we put that to bed. Then you brought up golf. That was your fault, yeah, not yeah. mine. Good night. Good night, bro. Later. Mm.
Hmm. Let's see about that. Do 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 do. You know what, guys? Critical that while we wait, I'll run ad and keep those ads going and stuff. Whatever. <clears throat> Might be getting off, lads. Let's see what happens here. Nothing much, anything, baby. Yo. Hello, hello. Wait a tick. Yo. Yo, what up, bro? Nothing, man. Just got done playing with Danny. He's chilling. Yeah. I, oh, shit, I missed that. Fuck that up. Mm. Uh, man, how you been? Uh, you know. We, we yeah. talked a little bit about it, you know. So-so. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. Better than worse. How's your daughter? She's fine, man. She uh, got the stitches taken out, and uh, she started rehab, so, um, yeah, as long as she uh, don't try to rush it, she'll be fine, but my, my daughter's going to be hard-headed. She's going to try to do too much too fast. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know the feeling. That's, uh, that's something, <laughs> that's something you, know, you would probably do. I know it's something I would do. I've done it, yeah. so... Yeah, she said, I get it from my dad. I'm like, don't don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you don't put you, that evil on me. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Great quote. Oh. So, you try to play or you, you get ready to what? I'm I'm in a 2v2, but I didn't, I didn't know that the dude had locked the party. Oh, yeah, yeah I can't but, get in there. And he, he must have locked it when Panda came in because Panda just popped up. And just started talking to me, but I didn't realize the dude had locked the party. And uh, I hadn't played with this dude in a while, so I just got on. Like, I mean, I mean, as soon as I turned the game on, he sent me an invite to play. 
and nobody else was on, so I was like, cool. And then Panda just popped in and started talking to us, but I had no idea he had locked the party. I'm like, what kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really, I don't, I don't lock parties, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, do I know Panda? Yeah, yeah, he he's with PNB. He played. You, as a matter of fact, he spanked it. As a matter of fact, me and you spanked his ass. It was him and uh, him and Salt one night. When we spanked the ass that twice. Sounds, that sounds about right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just another day in the office. Yeah. Just another day. Oh come on! I've been I've been burning the edges all day for the last two days actually just like my ball looks at the cup and go I don't want to be in there by myself <laughs> go to your home ball <laughs> so yeah I mean whatever I don't know I'm down to play though I'm, I'm might as well stay up at this point I don't know what time it is 3am here so oh uh, yeah it's 1.30 here Actually, I thought it was much later than that, to be perfectly honest. I thought it was much later than 3 a.m., but uh, still, you know, I'm kind of on. Just, uh, like I said, I spent a lot of time trying to work myself up to wanting to uh, work, wanting to start streaming, you know, again. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's been really disappointing that, you know, that the Twitch Studio thing and whatever, you know, that it's been more complicated, but whatever. I'm not going to let that slow me down from... I had a good time tonight. I actually had fun playing, you know, playing golf for the first time in I don't know how long. <laughs> so, you know. You, you ready? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to go... I got to turn my money. I'll be back on in a second. I'll hit you up when I come back. All right, man. All right, bet. You don't know me. <clears throat> you. You could fill a house with all the things you don't know about me. Taking all that I glow on so can't you see? I don't know. You could be anybody like me. It's kind of hard to argue with these, doesn't it? I mean, shit. <sighs> right. With the red right hand. So, I had these be different because they need to be, so. Swap this out for what I believe was what? Let's just see real quick. 
So let's get a way better swing plane, a little forgiveness. This little swing plane. Same forgiveness. I guess this would be the, the safe bet, this one here, right? We had this one before, though, I believe. And this is an interesting query right here. Uh, go with this club. Not lose much at all. Or this one. Looks about right. Oh. Well. If it's the same as the title, the title is a prettier club. Indeed. What was the one I was using? You know. I believe it was this one. No. Yeah. Oh, you straight I've got off. What? Word? Like, legit bounced. Holy shit. Huh. All right. Say la. <clears throat> C'est la vie, mon ami.
That feels right. Nah, he legit fucking left, huh? Holy shit. That was deeply unexpected. Deeply unexpected. Did not at all expect that. 
hurt my feelings a little bit, I think. Shit. What are you gonna say? Just disappeared? Why blue yonder? I suppose that's right. Just went away. Never to return again. Well, there's life sometimes. Ain't fair usually, but it is what it is. The mysterious, the unfair case of life. Close with this one. Take something a bit different about each one of these clothes. And the people. <laughs> boy, oh boy, the people. Ain't that a thing? Abandoned, such as it were. <clears throat> that would be, of course, quite a shock. You know, no status. What is it? At Country Club at CC Champs Lemonier Lemonier. Let's see. Terribly tragic. Absolutely abhorrent, I'd say. To think. And he was, but be not now. The horrible truth. It is what it is. And what shall be. Oh, 
do I have found someone to play against? Will they stay? Kong Valley. Normal, normal, medium. I'm sure this is a brutal golf course. It seems so. Naturally speaking. Be just me, myself, and I in here. Obviously. Oof. Guess you best be a driver if you're gonna hit it that poorly. Give us a second, lads. Be right back. Sorry about that. Ugh. Double slow. Kiss of death.
Oh, sorry. Oh, come on, Andrew. <sighs> Unreal how bad that was. I'll do that. Oh, really? It's say, I swear to God. He's let me into this hole, this mistake. Oh dear. That'd be extra, especially not good. Where's this golf course? Come on, kick left. That's gonna be a tough second shot. Get your bippy on that. With a red right hand. It's quite disappointing. Have you done? Quite indeed. Yeah, that's a good shot. Predicted that I get that little soft fast, which kept it left. Would have been a great shot. Who's here with me? Who's here watching? It says there's two viewers. Isn't anybody out there? Isn't anybody listening? All right, we we'll play something else soon. I think. Uh, don't know what yet. Let's put something. Figure it out. Slightly misjudged. I'm not too worried though. I'm quite good at that. 
Oh, oh. Things are falling apart for him in a hurry. It's in an awful hurry. quite caught that have I oof Ah, oh, flattened out the hole. Come on. That's not right. That's not right. Mm. Uh What garbage is this? Okay, well, you know, these things, they, well, they do happen. Well, that's someone's left now. Of course I have.
I'll be right. Men of culture. It does exist. <laughs> Men as in all humanity, right? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> it's about uh, that time then, so. To all my guys and gals, boys and squirrels, lords and ladies, to each and every one of my non binary, gender fluid snowflakes out there, this is the show showing you love. Most definitely. Signing out. Good night.